beans. Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more Somnium Files. Fun, fun story. I'm playing this on my. Oh, uh, is it this? No, it's autosave. Um, I'm playing this on my PS5. I know I said I would wait until there's like a slimmer pro version, but. I got impatient. You think an ex-con doesn't deserve to be happy? Spill it already! You gotta be kidding! Who killed them? Yeah. I you stay happy forever! Who's in the terror suit? Oh yeah, and we found out that the girl in the mask is, like, a girl who looks like Mizuki. Who are all these people? Locked? No, yeah, I unlocked it. Okay. Wait, what? Wait, was I not up to Yuki? I can start- oh, so do I do Ryuki first or Misuki? Hmm... It's been a while since I played as Ryuki, so... I'll do him. Hey, Arigo, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Happy... Day. <laughs> start investigation. Uh... Who's to jump into? I guess here? Uh, how you been, dude? Oh yeah, by the, uh, telling my PS5 story. I was gonna wait, but then I played my cousin's PS5, and it felt so good. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if it'll be faster than my PS4, like, loading games. And, um, yeah, just the system overall is so smooth. And it's so fast and responsive. Is this just going to be the same... Playing some 14? Yeah, I gotta get back on 14 too. We still gotta finish the quest. I'm sorry! Ah! What do you want me to do? Can I skip all this? No. But he is not dead. Because what happened the first time we played this, we did shoot. Are you? Shoot. Ryuki. Uh... Don't be stupid. Shoot. What? Just do it! Shoot, Ryuki! Whatever. I know you're counting. Hi, Ball! <laughs> what do you think of AI? <sighs> These days, I hate it. Difficult. It's not as hard as romance? What?! Wait, let me see what eyeballs I have to get. It's okay, so if I go to Mizuki... That there was... I don't remember. Bravery, love, and justice. The Iva, Iris, Homi, Ota. I got two adults from Ota's. And Anxious and Iris. Amame, I got one from Amame. Okay, so Amame is probably crazy. Yeah, Amame is crazy. Impish is probably that the. Eh, whatever. Um. You. That the. Look. Don't shoot. Oh no! Did I mess up? It's impossible. Oh shoot, I think I messed up. Yes, what I bought last night. It starts with a Persona 4 Golden and ends with a 4 PS5. <laughs> also, hi. Hey, Golden, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Happy day. I can't do it. Oh, yeah, the um, remakes came out. I need to get it. Um, I need to get the P3P. Oh, 
boat. Yeah. Oh, damn it. I gotta redo this. Oh. Yeah, and that. Damn it. I messed up. P3P and P4G are now up. Both cost $20. $20 each, I mean. Yeah. I figured. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do this. Can I skip this? No, let's rewatch it to to um, refresh our memories. Cause it's been a long time for me. Cause I'm pretty sure this is unlocked now. Cause I can play it. Or am I doing the wrong route? Do I have to do Mizuki first? Oh. Mm. Anyway, how's you? I'm strangely very tired. So I didn't even bother to dry my hair after I finished my shower. I was just like, let's start streaming. <laughs> start streaming earlier so I could go to sleep earlier. Fire toast shocker, I know, what? right? The others. I think they're okay. Oh wait, no. I'm detecting five living organisms. Terror. He ran away. Damn it. Maybe Mizuki. I should change my name to Tired Toast. Because that's Mizuki. what I am all the time. Mizuki. Oh no, wait. Are yeah, we okay? saw this dialogue. Damn it. Kizzy. Kizzy. Where are you? Answer me. One, two, three, four. Who's the fifth living? Uh, Kizzy! The thing that disappoints me about the I Persona 3 Portable remake for, um, but, five? Uh, Not five, yeah. For the PS5, is they Kizzy. kept it the visual novel style. <laughs> like, you're remaking it for PS5. Can't you at least make, like, bring back the... the cameras and the world from... Persona 3? Mizuki, FES. Are you okay? But I guess they can't. It's nothing life threatening. Okay, should I just skip this? I don't think I can. This isn't good. Again, take care of Mizuki. I'll get Mr. Date. Yeah, got it. Because last time, Date was stuck under the rubble and then it crashed on him. Mr. Date! Still waiting for you to get on 14. I know, I have to. I have to do so many things. So many things, so little time. By the way, this Sunday is going to be Lunar New Year, and it's going to be the Year of the Rabbit. I usually don't care about birthdays and, like, like signs and all that, but I was born in the Year of the Rabbit, so I'm excited. Leon got out safely. It's my Dante? year. He must be nearby. Keep looking. I think I should do this over- no. What if this is how it's supposed to go my second time around? Uh, but I don't see anything I can interact with. I'm pretty sure it was under some rocks. Hello? Rubble! X-ray. There! It's Dante. Mr. Dante! Oh. Ryuki, thanks for stopping by. But I can't move. Give me a second! I'll get it off you! That's not gonna work. This is way too big for your noodle arms. Just leave me here. Again, come back. Get going. Wait, Tata, what's in your hand? Come on. Did what I know what's in your hand? About? Look at the ceiling. It's coming down soon. You stay here. Oh you yeah, he took out Iba. But just take this with you. Iba? I tried talking to her. She isn't responding. I think the explosion might have knocked her out. Can you fix her? I know her base system is on the cloud, but that body is it's important. I got to put her in my pocket. Like, I can't skip this dialogue, so something has to be different. You don't have much time. One last thing. Before 
Don't talk like that. Just listen. I want you to tell me one thing. When I called you today, I told you a man in a mask was at Tsujima's. And you said it's terror. How? Who said you know? I don't How remember. Did you know the man in the iron mask was terror. Yesterday, was it you that ran away, Ryuki? Where did I run away from? I don't remember anything. No. Oh. Ow. Oh yeah, we gotta figure out why like Yuki freaks What's out happening? and like speaks in that like rah, 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 Mr. Dante. way. Mr. Dante, I loved him and I betrayed him. What? Wait, did this happen last time? Also, love as in romantic love or respects love. Did I just play all this for no reason again? Damn it! Wait, but that's an ending. Wait, then why'd they let me... Oh, that was the end. I wasted my time. Frack! What the heck? Make that noise again? The... Damn it. I played this for nothing. That was an... That was the ending. It's this one that got unlocked. I am a fool! Oh, green means it's all complete. Mother flippin'. I'm dumb. Angry dog toast. <laughs> Wee. Oh. Last. Oh, you came. Good. Want something to drink? With water? On the rocks? You don't have to be shy. I want orange juice. It's on me. It's such a bizarre case, the HB serial killings. That being said, the facts are fairly straightforward. Pointing out a culprit can't be too hard. Do you already know? Terror. Who are they, really? Why are we all of a sudden, like, off the bat starting with this? And how come my cursor's green now? Because whenever I'm Aiba, my eye is red, and when I'm Tama, my eye is yellow. Who's this green eye? Who is Terror? Jin Furure, Uruso Mezuki, Mama, Tokiko. Well, for real, it was Uruso Mezuki. Right. Uru. We know he killed at least three people. Jin Furue, Chikara Horadori, Andes Komeji. But why did he kill them? What was his goal? For a Nirvana initiative for personal enjoyment to get revenge to build schools in Africa? Um... Well, Chikara was torturing him. Andy's... I don't think it was for revenge. But he did take the body. Chikara... <laughs> uh, I'll say to get revenge. That's true, I suppose. But that wasn't the main reason. And it's Nirvana Initiative. That's right. The Nirvana Or his initiative. mother. The loony plan to have humans reach Moksha. That's why Uru killed the three of them. We can put aside the little details for now. The most concerning aspect of the whole thing is the time difference. The left and right sides of the victims were found six years apart. Regarding the first victim, the facts are already in. Six years ago, on February 10th, Jin Furaway's body fell from the ceiling of Devita. No, that's Uru's body. And this year, five days ago, also on the 10th... No. Yeah. Okay, so... That side that we're seeing now is... Uru, because Jin had the percent sign scar on his face. So six years ago, that side of Jin is Uru. Uru Somizuki's left half was found at the Wait, stage. what? This Not is Uru? Jin's. Yeah, I, well, I'm mixing it. Ugh, so confusing. Plastic surgery and complete organ transplants. It fooled the investigators into thinking they were the same person. But what about the other victims? Chikara. 
Komeji, Tokiko. How do you explain those three? You have good intuition. You might already know. Who is Mama talking to? Why did it seem like their bodies appeared after six years passed? Because Tokiko made miracles happen. Professor Brown created a time machine. Who? The timeline was not in the correct order. Yuki and Mizuki were hallucinating. Huh? I don't think it's Tokiko. I don't know who Professor Brown is. Timeline was not in the correct order? Let's try that. I mean, it's weird. Right. In other words. What? I, uh... It's not like that. It's like this. This is the timeline that you actually experienced. The red and blue lines are intertwined, almost like DNA. What? You started on the red line from the top, and then followed the blue line, which led you to this point. You've traversed four X's. The left side is six years ago, and the right side is this year. To make things easier, we'll call the left side past, and the right side present. In other words, you came here, jumping back and forth between past and present, a day at a time, all to end up here. What? Now do you understand? No! Chikara's right half was found the night of the 11th, in the past. His left half was found the next morning. Komeji's right half was found on the 13th. His left half was found the next morning at 6 a.m. Six years have passed, and now we're here. In the present, Tokiko's right half was found on February 12th. A birthday. The next day, a little past midnight, her left half was found in the basement of Horidori Institute. We know that. Don't remember. Long story short, the left and right halves weren't found six years apart. They were all found soon after each other. Nothing supernatural here. Th that is supernatural if the timelines are mixed up. This is a chart that shows the flow of the story in chronological order. The true flowchart can be checked from menu flowchart. Six years ago, presence. But, but when, ugh, wait, what? What? I don't understand this. So they're saying each day was experienced by a different person. Wait, so... Presents... Six years ago... What? I don't under... So... This says six years ago... Huh? So everything on the right side should be the present and wait switch flowchart original flowchart oh oh wait okay so so this we went through normally as yuki and then when we came to this one is this when he started bugging out because that like, he started to bug out in the present, and then here he's normal again, and then he bugs out. Bug out here? And then that's normal. Then... But then, whenever we went through all of Mizuki's stuff, like... If the timelines are crossed like this, like... She still looked the same. She looked older in in the six years ago. I don't understand what. Anyway, that's just my genius analysis. This makes no sense. Oh, 
But I know what you're gonna say. There's still tons of things that can't be explained, right? Especially, who killed Uru and Tokiko? Jin, Chikara, Komeiji. It was Terror, Uru, who sliced these three in half. But then Uru was killed in the present, February 10th. Tokiko's body was found after that. So who killed Uru and Tokiko? Well, that's I'm the sure mystery. This will be cleared up soon by Mizuki, her friend, and by you, Freyer. So anyway, good luck with the rest of your investigation. And Freyer, who's I'll be Freyer? cheering you on. No one there. Uh, okay. Uh huh. Who was I just talking to? Maybe I've had a bit too much to drink. It's awfully cold tonight. I don't understand. Iowa Garden. I will say, load times are faster on the PS5. See? Now that I'm Iba, my cursor's yellow again. Hey, about Kizzy. Are you sure she's okay? Don't worry. I made sure she's fine. Are you Freyer? Because your eyeball color's different. Yeah, she has the blue eye. Kizzy know what missing. Last night, around 11 o'clock, Richi Chieda, her father, contacted me. She ran away with, um... Leon. Aiba and I started our search for Kizzy. After a while, I got a call on my phone. It was from her. She told me to meet her here at Ion. So... That makes us... Sisters? We're not the same age, but we're like identical twins. We have almost the same genes. That's crazy. I'm a copy of you. Don't say it like that. Your clone! But I'm your clone, right? Technically, yes. But our DNA isn't exactly the same. My genome was rearranged. Your DNA was modified on top of that. Which is why you don't have the symptoms I have. Basically, you're an upgrade. The perfect version of me. Don't say it like that. Um... About February six years ago. It's like I told you. I want to know who did this to me. I know that Chikara was the mastermind, but I want solid proof. That's why I was investigating him and his institute. But then, out of the blue, he gets killed. That's why I started following the HB case. Um, about February six years ago again. I asked her about what happened back then. She told me the details of what happened on the 12th and the 14th. The 12th. Well, this game, I want to play with you. Oh, the blue one. Ostun Randig. The 14th. What you have seen and heard cannot be shared with anyone. If you do, I will kill her. I have an abundant amount of money. Even if I were to die, the assassins I've And at this point, terror is still Udu. I see. That's why you didn't talk about what happened six years ago. But I think it's okay to start talking now. Why? I was able to freeze all of Terror's hidden accounts. We don't need to worry about any assassins anymore. I but you don't remember anything from February six years ago, do you? I do not. My body was destroyed. I don't remember anything from February six years ago. That was what, 2017? I don't the remember. This communication network was also offline, so there was no backup taken. Oh, it's already eyeball time? Damn. What kind of Tsukumi do you like? Metaphorical? That doesn't exist. Playing along, simple. Oh yeah, I said I was trying to be like the antithesis of me. That doesn't exist. 
You don't have one? I became a childy. So she's Amame. So now from the Amame one, I have to try to get... Uh... Okay, so this is the Ritsuko, so... I think she's loving, so I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I, wait, I guess I could look up a guide. Why don't I do that? Um, uh, AI Omnium Files Nirvana Initiative I I I Bali uh, I Bali Child Okay, so Amame is crazy. She is. Okay. Evolves from Amame. -e. I need loving or crazy or. Wait, that's it? Evolves from. Okay, I need loving or crazy. Oh, oh, they only turn into two different types of adults. Okay, so there's four different types of childs you could get. And from each child, you could only get two adults. Loving crazy, loving crazy. Got it. I was raised at Iowa too? Yeah, the same as me. When I was six, you were born at Horadori Institute and sent here. I'm guessing they thought it was too difficult to raise you at the Institute. I remember the day you arrived like it was yesterday. You were still a baby. But the moment I saw you, I got this feeling. I started bawling my eyes out. The people at the facility didn't know we were related. Makes sense. They were told we were from two different places. But we are both named Mizuki. Oh, she's we Mizuki really also. Similar. So to make it easier, everyone started calling me Big Sis. They called you. Mizuki. What happened after I arrived at Ion? They took me to Horidori Institute every so often for examinations. Well, I say examinations. I mean human experiments. I don't think you remember. But they did terrible things. I remember getting shots with needles as big as boba straws. Ew. My time with Horidori Institute ended when I was nine. And you were three. It shut down and we were finally free. That's about the time you were adopted by the Okiyura family. But me? Well, I told you about me, right? You were blind in one eye and had a heart condition. Right. So it was hard to find a family who would take me. Ultimately, it was Mr. Chieda, the chairman. So when you were nine, you were adopted by the Chiedas. I spent the next six oh, years Oh, is that why Kizuna also calls you Big Sis? Up until I was 15. I lived under the same roof as Kizuna. I see. That's why she called me Big Sis. No, Kizuna's just stupid. What about after that? You said something about an eccentric woman? Yeah. I was adopted by her. Do you mean Shizue Kuranushi? Boss. <gasps> Which Our is why boss's my name daughter. is Mizuki Kuranushi now. You think that sounds kinda lame, huh? No, it's not that. Why did boss adopt you? You know how we're stronger than everybody else? Maybe she thought I'd come in handy. So she wanted to make you work for her. I don't know if that's the truth, but that's what she told me. Wow. Good reasons, boss. Boss taught me how to fight. After she adopted me, she trained me hard every day. Six years ago, when I was 18, I was hired as a top-secret member of Abyss. Boss wanted someone who she could rely on. Someone who would never betray her. She trusted me to handle the most sensitive situations. Basically, I'm like a ninja. Well, a kunoichi. Which is why my existence at Abyss had been hidden. The only people who know are Boss, Pewter, and Ryuki. Eh? Ryuki knows. Ryuki? Why? I wonder... Why were you hiding your identity? If I revealed myself to you, you would want to know everything. 
One way or another, you'd find out. You'd find out that your genes were spliced. That your real parents aren't Renju and Choco. I found out anyway, so what's the deal? I didn't want you to end up like me. I wanted you to live a normal life. As normal as possible, anyway. Hard to be normal when more than six years ago... My parents were killed in that eyeball murder. Get a normal job, a normal husband, get married, start a family, live happily ever after. A life like that. But if I showed up, I would ruin all that. That's what I thought at least. I see. But why didn't you tell me seven years ago in November? I was already well on my way to an abnormal life at that point. <laughs> Maybe that's true. <laughs> By the way, I'm curious. Why were we given the same name? I don't know. Maybe they didn't really care about the name. But wouldn't that make it harder to tell us apart at the Institute? Ah, uh, I don't think they had any trouble. We had code names at Horidori Institute. I was Mouse, and you were Rabbit. Rabbit! And you remember what they called us at Iowan, right? You were Big Sis, and I was Mizuki. Yeah. Is that what I called you? No, you were still little. You couldn't talk much. You just called me Phoebe. Phoebe? Yeah. Phoebe, huh? BB-8. Ha 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 ha. Wow, I'm tired. Anyway, we've already spent enough time here. We shouldn't be wasting time like this. Good point. There's still tons we don't know about the HB case. Also, Kizuna said she would meet us here. Is that not happening anymore? <laughs> Follow me. I want to show you something. Huh? What is it? Oh, no. It's nothing. Let's go, BB. Eight. Whoa! I got a trophy. Okay, this low time doesn't seem to be faster. Still taking just as long. Oh, there you are. Ha! Oh yeah, cause that doesn't. And Gensuit. Ah! What the fuck? This is information overload. My brains are gonna flow out of my ears. Jeez, just relax. I can't just relax. What is this corpse doing here? And why are Kizzy and Leon here? Oh, and most importantly, who the hell is this? What? Isn't it obvious? Wait. You're that stupid porno mag collecting old man. No. Yes. Why are you dressed like that? <laughs> where is Genny? What are you doing here? And one last thing. Where have you been the past six years? Why didn't you try to contact me? Yeah, jerk. I'm sorry, Mizuki. Is Ama... Wait, was Ama still... Yeah, Ama is still alive. You still alive? Yen is alive. Okay. I think I kind of get it. Six years ago, Date lost his memory when the ceiling collapsed on him. Then he got captured by terror, but managed to escape. And he's been wandering the earth for the past six years. Five the whole days earth? Ago, on the tenth, he heard the news about Jin's body being found, and finally got his memory back. That's right. Uh, why are you pretending to be Genny? Wait, let me just say one thing. What? Do you have more insults to hurl at me for missing six years of your life? No, it's not that. Maybe she just wanted to hear you say, Mizuki, you've grown so much, or something emotional like that. No, not that either. Ah, oh, right. For you, it's been six years. For me, it's different. I've been back for four days dressed like this. I've been watching you guys the whole time, so I don't really have anything sappy to say. I told you, it's not that! I'm home. Welcome back. Is that what you wanted to hear? Alright, okay. Let me try this again. Mizuki, I'm home. Welcome back, Date. But that's not what I wanted to say. I threw away all your porno mags. Yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> Why are you pretending to be Genny? I know that Horidori Institute and Nyes are both caught up in the HB case. Gen was created at the Institute, and he was acquaintances with Tokiko. 
Gen's the killer. So, by borrowing his mask, I could snoop on Tokiko and other Gen is the new terror. Institute. But why do you still look like that here? Horidori Institute and nice people come here all the time. Imitating Gen makes it easier to eavesdrop on them. Why did you reveal your identity now? I'm gonna be honest, this has gotten way out of hand. I can't do this on my own. We need to work together to stop their plan. Their plan? Yeah, the Nirvana Initiative. So first, I contacted Mizuki Kurunushi. Date and I met six years ago. He knew how to get a hold of me. I shared everything I had, then told her to find you, Mizuki. To help stop them? Basically. Who is the corpse in the freezer? Let's talk about it later. Trust me, if I explain it now, it'll only confuse you. Bibi. Bibi? But what? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to call you by that name. Hmm. Where's the real Genny? I don't know. Not here. It's fine. I know where he is. But he's not dead. Don't you have an idea too? When did you find out about the corpse in the freezer? Last night. Date called me out of the blue. He told me about the corpse. And how he was pretending to be Genny. And everything else he knew. Why did that get the shadow box? What? I mean, let whatever. That black border. That was weird. Nirvana. I like the sound of that. I like that band. <laughs> the thing is, I know Nirvana's a band, but I can't name a song by them. I don't- I can't really remember, um, artists, like musical artists, and song titles. Um, I don't want to talk to her, but I have to, about BB. I suppose Big Sis has already told you everything. Big Sis and I lived in the same home for six years. But I never thought my Big Sis was my Big Sis's Big Sis. Oh, you're so, so lame. Anyway, Mizuki Date, I will call you Little Big Sis from now on. Call me by my name! And you, Mizuki Kuranushi, I will call you Big Big Sis. Still, just as confusing. I heard you went missing. I am a little embarrassed to admit this, but... Leon and I plan to elope. What? May I ask why? Gizzy's father won't accept me. He threatened to send Leon to prison if he continued to- Smells like Team me. Spirit. Heart shaped box. Uh, oh, okay. Smells like Team Spirit sounds familiar, but I can't remember right now how that goes. <laughs> and heart shaped box. Gotta sing it for me. That's when I suggested that we run off together. And I agreed. So you two... Yeah. They're both on the run for love. But we don't know exactly where we want to go yet. Right. We need some more time to think about it. Go to Watami. Did you tell Richie? I have told him that I am safe and sound. Okay. Well, I'm glad you weren't kidnapped. I am so sorry that I worried you. Yeah. I'm sorry about all this, you guys. I don't... Care about if you're cold. What time is it? Why do you ask? No reason. It is currently 4:25 a.m. Daybreak is close. Why are you here? I told you that we wanted to run away together. And I wanted to be with Leon. I got a call from my old pal Date. I asked him to unlock something for me. Are you talking about the freezer? Wait, but I was there. Mizuki was there during the whole freezer incident. No, I got that open. On so the why are they? Team. Why are we? What? It was a different lock this time. Anyway, that is when we met with Date and the woman he was with. The woman? I was there too. You could She's so infuriating. About Bibi. I've known her for a long time. She's a former co-worker. From back when I was doing bad stuff. Back then, I used to call her Quartz. Hey, don't just blurt that out! Mizuki's name comes from Crystal. The kanji for Crystal can be read as Mizuki. Crystals are the solid form of silicon dioxide, a mineral. It's my favorite Nirvana song. Let me check it out. Ah, that one. Okay. It was on Guitar Hero. <laughs> Most often recognized as Quartz. Wait, so you were in a Thieves Guild, baby? <laughs> the snow isn't letting up. Don't change the subject. See? I don't remember song titles, but I know the song. Okay, I'll ask again. 
What's the deal with the corpse? Why is it in the freezer? It's better that you see for yourself. Let me just show you. Another corpse? No, not one more. Not one at all. It's half. We all saw the corpse together. Why is everyone... What is happening? I don't understand what's happening. I used to be really good at Guitar Hero. Same. Guitar Hero was really fun. But now I have Taiko Drum Master. Oh, sorry, I keep yawning. I don't know why I'm so tired. Like, I went to sleep at a normal time. So, you finished reading the file? Yeah. Now do you Jet lag? <laughs> From just staying in, in my house the whole time? Now you know whose left half is in the freezer. Jin. Jin Furue. That's what he really looks like. And this body? Uru Somazuki. Terror. He murdered three people six years ago. Jin, Chikara, and Andy's Komeji. Exploring time? Uru's right half. Got the... changed? <laughs> That outfit was so hard to move in, with the wireframe and all the stuffing. About Jin Furue. I don't need to explain it. You should already know. Jin Furue, the child of Tokiko and Chikara. He was born he looks like a, a scumbag. rare and complicated disease. It caused inoperable tumors to grow in the right half of his body. Jin might have had it worst of all. He got his first transplant when he was really young. I don't think he wanted to take organs from Uru. Remember what it said in Uru's diary? Nope. He said he wanted to apologize. I think he is referring to Jin. So you think the transplant was done against Jin's will? I'm not positive, but that's just the feeling I get. I don't care about Lin and Kizuna. Uh, about Uru Somazuki. I can't really say anything more than what's in the file. Uru Somazuki. He's the child that was kidnapped from Ioan when he was six. It was Chikara and Tokiko who took him. They wanted to make him Jin Furoe's donor. So for over a decade, they did surgery after surgery, giving more and more of Uru to Jin. Half of his face, too. The skin he lost was replaced by an artificial skin made of carbon chitin. Half his face was transplanted onto Jin's as well. Right. And it was only half because Jin had a percent-shaped birthmark on the left side of his face. Why would they bother to replace the face then? A holy what? symbol for the order of percent. It was considered sacred. And Chikara, being a devoted follower, couldn't get himself to rip that skin off. Which is why the left half of Jin's face was left untouched. And after all those transplants, Jin's body ended up being cut in half. Six years later, February of this year, Uru's body was cut in half. So what was discovered was Jin's right half and Uru's left half. Jin and Uru are essentially mirror images of one another. Oh my gosh, are they gonna be like... No, but... We found both halves of their body. Never mind, my theory was stupid because I was like, oh... Like, they cut themselves in half, but the side that looks like Jin Furue is, like, left as a corpse, and then their other halves were, will be connected together to make the real terror. But no, we found both halves of their body. Never mind. So when the police were identifying <sighs> Uru's body, they got their DNA sample to compare against from Jin's organs. And because those were originally taken from Uru, it naturally follows that they match. Like, it's kind of helping that they're repeating all the information that was said before because this is so freaking confusing. But it is still freaking confusing. So that's why... That is the mistake that caused investigators to believe that they were the same person. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, damn. Oh. Ooh. Uh, what happened till now? I wanted to ask Shoma about the genetic experiments, so I visited him. And I looked like Gen, so it didn't raise any concerns. He told me a lot. About his body and his older sister, and about the hidden safe. 
That's what we came here for. But wait, I found Shana out. Shana has though. an older sister. Yeah. You know her well. Kizuna and Iris's friend. A mermaid at Sunfish Pocket. A mame doi. Really? Hi, Bo. I need loving or crazy. Loving or poison. Where should I fish? River, Somali waters, fishing pond. Um. Is brave. No. No. I need loving or crazy. Okay, I gotta. I just gotta be crazy. When did you get here? Only a few hours ago, around 1 a.m. I asked Leon to open the door to the staircase. So the lock you mentioned earlier. That's right. The lock to the staircase door. I've heard having half a mind to do something, but this is next level. Ha ha ha. That's when I asked them about the They don't just have half again. a mind, they have half a body. Then the four of us headed down the stairs. Leon carried Kizuna down. And that's when we found the corpse on the ritual platform. Wait, so, okay, remember how I said earlier that from six years ago, the, um, Mizuki, like, she still looked old. Is it hard? It's because they're gonna be like, oh, that time you were BB. Because BB's telling us all the information that we, um, discovered as Mizuki. And they're both technically Mizuki. I hate this. This sucks. Box X ray. What's this? It appears to be a jet-like nozzle device. Hmm. The box appears to have some kind of jet-like nozzle device inside. I guess I have to ask about Leon and Kizuna. Leon and Kizuna aren't here right now. We split at Brahman. They're not going far away, are they? They should be fine. They said they were going to think hard about where to go. Go to Atami. All file. Tokiko must have written this. How did you? Oh, phew. How did you find out? I used Marco's X ray function. Marco? The name of my AI ball in my left eye. He's pretty shy. He doesn't talk much. Bolo. Unlike someone else I know. Excuse me. Are you talking about me? Mm hmm. I know Iba really well. We were partners six years ago. Yep, they're gonna be like this. Six years ago, Musiki was this BB. When I was hired at Abyss, I was supposed to get Marco transplanted into my left eye. But he wasn't finished yet. So instead, I got Iba. But Iba and Date. Yeah, Iba and Date were kind of fighting at the time. And I needed to see if I was compatible with an AI ball at all, so. I see. I apologize. I do not remember anything from back then. Because of the explosion, right? Yes. It's kind of sad. I made so many memories with you, Iva. Mm. JT smoking some serious kush. Time travel I'm never makes it. sense. It doesn't. And the way that these guys are trying to do time travel, it's pretty dumb. <laughs> Six years ago, why did Uru cut the bodies in half? That was for the Nirvana Initiative, right? Yeah, but what does that have to do with the plan? And speaking of, is the Nirvana Initiative still happening? I mean, after all, Terror's dead. Right. The Mastermind is dead. But you saw it. On the night of the 13th, on the, the only time travel story that ever made sense was Back to the Future. Did it? I, I don't really remember Back to the Future. Like, I watched terror. so many movies as a kid that Definitely I don't clearly Eagle's remember. Voice. Like, Jurassic Park, Indiana Jones, Die Hard. But Uru should have been dead. Perhaps his voice was recorded. Either way, the rehearsal happened even after Terror died. Which means the main event will likely still happen Back as to well. the Future's top five favorite movies for me. Jurassic Park is top two. Oh! That's the one where the MC disappears because he made his mom fall in love with himself and not his dad. Oh, yeah. Weird. Gross. Yeah, it's safe to assume it will proceed as planned. But I still don't understand the full scope of the Nirvana Initiative. When? Where? How? We are completely in the dark. Why don't you ask the culprit? 
Yeah, good idea. Hey, Uru, what's up with your plan, you asshole? No, that's not what I meant. There are other culprits. Whoever killed Uru and Tokiko. You believe they might know something about the Nirvana Initiative? I don't know for sure, but they at least might have some clues. We don't have enough information yet. Looks like we're gonna need some extra help. Help? Over here. Come with me. Yuki. And then he'll see that Date's alive and There's be like, oh my gosh! Here. You would think that, right? But check this out. Open sesame! What? Marco, please. Ah, oh, Date, you're so funny. What is this? As you can see, it's a hidden passage. But why is it here? Let's get moving. Mamma mia! A pop -a oh snap! Super Mario World's opening in um Universal Studios next month. I want to go. It's taking so long to load. What? Mario movie also being released April 7th. Yeah, that I definitely have to watch in theaters. What does this mean? It means exactly what you see. There are two cathedrals? That's right. Mizuki, look. What? Eh? Why are you there? I'm here too. Tama. How is Ryuki doing? Terrible. It was a bad idea to show him this place. He's been like this for hours. I, Yuki. Yo, are you okay? He appears to at least be breathing. He might not be if there was rope and a branch in here. Gosh, Tama. This has been eating at Ryuki for the past six years. He regretted what he did and blamed himself. He betrayed Date and shot Mizuki Kuranushi with stun bullets. <laughs> and what happened to Mizuki, Date, and Kizuna on top of that? Yeah, Terra detonated the bomb, but it was Ryuki who told Date about this place. If he never did, Kizuna and Mizuki wouldn't have been hurt. That's what's been plaguing him. You don't know that for sure, dude. Started drinking, which made the whole thing worse. I don't care if he feels bad about it. I still don't forgive him. Easy. He had his reasons. I'm gonna try to see a day one. Oh, dang. I heard they're going to be doing a whole Nintendo Cinematic Universe hoping for a good Zelda movie, Metroid movie. <gasps> give me... Give me a Kirby movie. What about the self-destruct program in Tama? I was overhauled completely during maintenance a few years back, and that function was deleted. That's when Ryuki opened up about what happened. Why didn't you share this earlier? I couldn't. Ryuki betrayed Abyss. He did something you can't come back from. I couldn't let anyone find out. So you protected him. It's the same reason I didn't upload the investigation data from six years ago. I made an oath. No matter what, I'll... I will protect Ryuki. But Ryuki himself could have informed us soon. I want a Metro movie that's basically a Western in space. Samus just being a... Yeah, that would be fun. You should know why he didn't do that. I feel like Samus could... Like a Metroid movie could be really good. Why he gave in to Terror's demands. He wanted to protect his loved ones. Wouldn't you do the same? Why are you here? Date called me. Yeah, I told him to head over to the other cathedral. Does that mean he saw Uru's corpse in Tokiko's file? He did, yep. And then he came here through the hidden passage. About Kizuna. I heard. So she the epic huh? triple threat crossover battle: Samus versus Master Chief versus Boba Fett. 
had nothing to do with the video. It was just Ryuki's active imagination. It's Ryuki. Pillar? Thick pillar. What else can I do? BB. About Ryuki. Do you hate Ryuki? Of course I do. I want to shove a pipe in his mouth and stir up his organs. Gross! Six years ago, he... It made my heart condition worse. It affected my work. I can't investigate properly if I have to go to the hospital all the time. But when I heard you recently joined Abyss, I shadowed you. And February 10th, when you went to the stadium, I got there before you and found the corpse. At the time, I had no clue it was Uru's left half. But I knew it had to do with the HB case from six years ago. I told you before that the one thing I wanted was for you to live a normal life. I couldn't let you get caught up in this case. I had to stop you. That's why... I see. You went about it the wrong way. You if a mysterious Uchi, person shoots at me, corpse. I'm gonna want to find out who the heck you are. You weirdo. Uh... Got there. Where are you? Date? 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 Oh, there's his face. Two cathedrals. Marco, can you send Iba the data? Got it. Opening it. It is a cross section of the two cathedrals. You get it now? There's one on the east and one on the west. Terror blew up the west one. This one, right here. Which happens to be the same side Ryuki met Terror, what he called his execution chamber. On the east side was Uru's corpse in Tokiko's file. And that mysterious box. The one connected to the Nye's building is the east one. You can take the elevator up to the president's office. Yuki! Ryuki, you made a mistake. But lying around here in all your misery isn't going to fix anything. If you really regret what you did, solve this case. That's the only way to atone. Ryuki, I remember one night we went out drinking. You told me about your little brother. You always talk about him. His little drink. brother is terror. You know promise, right? He said, I'll become a hero of justice. If I've fallen, I just need to get back up again. You used to say it all the time. It doesn't matter how many times you fall. As long as you have a body to do it, you climb back up again. Come on, Ryuki. Climb above the debris. It doesn't matter if you're pitiful. It doesn't matter if you show vulnerability. You struggle, you crawl, and you make it back to the top. That's what we do. That's what makes us human. Come on. Your beloved Data is saying this to you. Get up. Mr. Date. Everyone, I... <laughs> okay. Ryuki, okay. now's not the time to cry. Come climb up here. You mean... Don't get me wrong. I'll only forgive you after we solve this case. So... <laughs> okay. <laughs> so sad. Like, they try to make that a very emotional scene, but I'm just too confused to be sad. Oh, whoops, we all shared information. Aiba, Tama, and Marco shared everything on the local network. Data received everything as well via the device implanted in his eye socket. Anything that wasn't recorded electronically, we shared verbally. Everything from six years ago, everything from this year. All the information, including Somnia from top to bottom. So, the first thing on the agenda is stopping the Nirvana Initiative. When, where, how? We don't know anything about the it. The piano music in the background is nice, but I still can't follow anything. Yep, same. Hmm? We should know everything except where. Tama shared all her data, right? I did receive the information. I didn't give it a close look. Ryuki, can you tell us more about the Nirvana Initiative? Yeah. I'll explain everything in order. We shared all the data, but can you tell us about this again? Like, they don't. <laughs> Uru created a video. Gotta show us the video. 
Oh, I have to talk to you. That's stupid. About the videos. Uru created three videos. QR video, Nirvana trial, and Nirvana X. The QR video was the first. The QR code on the signboard in Jin's body. That was a link to the video, right? Right. So it was first made public six years ago, on February 10th. The motive was... Really a small part of my plan. It's the prototype. There were stories about people who went missing after watching the video, but... It's just a common legend. I don't know. It was actually the second video that caused people to go missing. The Nirvana trial. About the Nirvana- Just- just keep it going! Why do I have to input buttons? That's so dumb. About the Nirvana trial. It was uploaded on February 9th. Back when Uru was still alive. But what for? I think it was a beta version of Nirvana X, the third video. For testing purposes for the main event. Testing what? There was a code, like BATS 490, in the Nirvana trial video. That code led to the Eastern Cathedral. The coordinates led to the staircase. Yeah, but that door has tons of locks. Right, but the staircase had another code. By solving that, you could collect the numerous keys located all over the city. And those who did solve everything would be able to unlock the door to the Eastern Cathedral. Did you notice the box? Inside was a device that shot TC Purge. If you open the box, it triggers. About TC Purge. When it enters the brain, it can even overwrite the DNA structure inside neurons. It can make you see things, make you dance, it makes you do weird things over and over. And it spreads in the air. If this virus gets out somehow, the human race is in for a rough trip. Can you picture it? The whole world going crazy. People everywhere doing it. The unpredictable things. Crazy things. Over and over. I'll be honest. I contracted TC Perch because I opened the box. But it's okay. Ryuki has developed a resistance to it. Okay, cool. And he can't spread it either. Having said that, TC Purge is still a problem. Before the body develops a resistance- Oh, is that why he spread. went like- Not to mention the neurons like, that are- Like, blah, blah, Because of the TC Purge? No. Wait, he said February 9th. I guess that makes sense because- No, even from the beginning with him, he like- Whatever, I'm- I'm gonna just move on. That's why Ryuki was acting weird. Is that what it looked like? When I was infected with TC Perch, my symptoms got worse. Disorientation, short-term memory loss, hallucinations. He's been seeing hallucinations for six years now. The mental trauma of what happened to his brother. Anyway, those who solved the code and opened the box contracted TC Purge, and as a result, they started acting strangely. And now, there are people dancing and riding in the streets, and a lot of suicides. I see. These people would have no motivation to return home. That's why so many people went missing. In other words, Uru's experiments were a success. He's dead now, but his plan is still alive. I'm guessing his lackeys are carrying out the plan now to raise the curtain on the main event. Hey, yo, Kirby, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Main event. <laughs> I think I know what they're gonna do. Hi, Miss Awesome Toast. Ha ha ha. Thank you, Kirby. <gasps> Look what I'm playing my Somnium Files on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They're gonna shoot the rocket somewhere. With TC Purge on the warhead. The rocket will explode. And the virus will spread? Yeah. Most likely, yes. Tons of people will get infected with TC Purge. It will grow in their bodies. And inevitably spread. From one person to another. But you just said that TC Purge, he can't spread it. What? This will lead all mankind to reach Moksha. An emancipation from this fiction. Tokiko, you're insane. Even if this Nirvana thing turns out to be bullshit. The virus itself Virus is spreading. Totally not topical. <laughs> right. I don't know if it will really cause glitches to appear or anything, but it'll be mass hysteria. There is already an uptick in suicides. When is this plan going to happen? 
The final video, Nirvana X, is already public. X, go and give it There's to you. There's a seven-digit number, which is probably a time and a date. February 15th, 12 o'clock. Noon, today. Iva, what time is it now? 7.55 a.m. We barely have four hours left. Where is it going to happen? Well... We don't know. My guess is the other letters that were in the video are some kind of code too. Maybe they point to a location. T-C-F-G-G-D-A-E-I-G-E -E -E. No. I converted the letters to numbers and checked the coordinates. It's an area in the Pacific Ocean. No land around. I don't think those coordinates are where the plan is happening. Then where could it be? Oh, I remember something Bibi said earlier. The culprit who killed Uru and Tokiko. Maybe they have a clue. But who killed them? Right. That's what I want to know the most. Well, I don't case, care about TC Purge. <laughs> there is one person. I don't know if they're the culprit, but they might have some valuable information. I didn't know where to find them before, but I've got a good idea now. That person? Gen? She's she? probably with Shoma. Amame? Iris? Shoma's mom? Room room! I'm a I understand. I'll tell you the truth. Big sis! Amame! The corpse in the freezer at Brahmin. I'm the reason it's there. It's my fault. Yeah, because your dad brought it there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Six years ago, February 11th, my father called me here. Shoma wasn't here. Only my father would have a corpse. Mama told us that Jin's body was hidden under the floor. The same body half that was in the suitcase. Mama said that she'd take it care that she'd take care of it. Try it again and they stored it in the freezer at Brahmin. Genny didn't do anything wrong. I asked him to do it. Yeah, 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 got it. And Shoma has nothing to do with this. He just found out too. Mommy, that's not what we're here to ask. We're looking for the person who can't. What? Terror it's not whoops. What? Terror is dead? We didn't have time to explain everything. We told them about Terra's identity and the Nirvana initiative as quickly as we could. You can tell us more about what you know at the station. Amame, will you come with us? No! No, no! Uh. I don't care what you say! You can't take Big Sis away! I agree with Shoma. I don't Guys. want you taking Amame away. What's the problem? We just want to talk. Wait. Amame. That means she knows something. Did you kill Terror and Tokiko? W what are you saying? Then why are you protect? What? Amame didn't kill anyone. Well, the way you're acting is making it seem like she did. Eyeball. What fish do you like? Tuna, hair tail, salmon, fugu. Well, let's see. Loving or crazy? Loving or crazy? Fugu? That's brave! Damn it! No! I need loving or crazy. <laughs> Time for eyes. None of the above. I don't like fish. <gasps> fish is yummy. Especially salmon. Amame, the reason we want to talk to Mame. Mame, you know something important, don't you? Something about the Nirvana Initiative and Terror. Maybe I get the feeling one of these about... guys is going to turn out to be the dead body. <laughs> That's what we're here to find out. Ah! Six years ago on February 13th. Six years ago on February 13th, you saw terror, didn't you, Mame? At Studio Divita? What happened back then? What did he say? You still haven't told us. I looked into her head yesterday, but there was nothing on what happened at Divita. But in the Somnium, Mame said... Nirvana collected genocide. Which would mean you know something about the Nirvana Initiative. Nirva not Nirvana. Amame is the most annoying person because she's just like, Oh no, poor me. Oh, I love Genny so much. But it's just like, 
tell us the truth? Like... Oh no, you can't. <laughs> like... Oh my gosh, like, we would solve this so much faster if you just... She's so annoying. Gosh. I prefer swimming with fish, not eating them. But they're so yummy. I heard you make a high-pitched gasp, and I thought you were making a lewd sound for a sec. Oh, it's because I was, um... Like, trying to be like, um, I'm eh. Annoying and stupid, but eh. February 10th, this year. Five days ago, on February 10th, did you meet with Tokiko? We don't have hard evidence, but a witness saw you. Anyway, Mommy headed into Horadori Institute by herself. I saw another person follow her in right after. It was Tokiko. Tokiko Shigure, president of Nice Japan. February 12th this year. Ryuki looked into Tokiko's head. Three days ago, on February 12th, he saw Tokiko threatening someone. I saw everything. If you don't do as I say, I'm sure you know where this is going. Could Tokiko have been threatening you, Amame? Just talk about Komeji. Um, well... I know this is a touchy subject, so let me say it. Terror killed Komeji, your father. It stands to reason that you absolutely despise Terror. Are you saying she killed him? Shut up! That's ridiculous! Oh, do I talk to you now? Why are you protecting Mame? Cause she's like, sister, sister, you stupid. What kind of stupid question is that? But we're not here to arrest Mame. The statute of limitations for abandoning a corpse is three years. She can't be prosecuted for hiding a body six years ago. But I have a bad feeling. A bad feeling? If she's not guilty of anything, then that's all the more reason you can't take her. I'm not gonna let anyone drag her away. Then she should just answer our questions. I already lost my dad. If you take big sis, I'm gonna... I'm... When I was in first grade, big sis gave me a radio-controlled toy. That's how I got into building things. She took me to robot expos and bought me books and parts. And she's working hard to save money to send me to college. <sighs> and Sir Ooh Jerk here. She... Totally can be prosecuted for that. I'm gonna free. <laughs> I had to check your bot to know if you got to the big twist, and you did. I wouldn't have asked otherwise. I uh, I'm so annoyed, Kirby. This is the twist. The shocking twist is not as cool. I literal twist. Yeah, it's stupid. I hate it. These last six years have been hell. It was hard and painful. Some Sometimes people like it, some people I don't. Why would you like it? It's so stupid! But she's always cheered me up and supported me. During all of the gene therapy. Big Sis always protected me. Now it's my turn to protect her. She's more important to me than my own life. So... So... All of you are stupid. Your you're whole family is her, stupid. You're gonna have to kill me first! No one's going to kill you! Oh my gosh. Shoma. Mame, just answer the question, and we won't have this drama! I don't want to talk to you anymore. Again, move aside. Sorry, I can't let you do that. I came here to protect Amame. Date, if only you didn't find the body in the freezer. I'm trying to tell you we're not here to arrest anyone. But I just can't let you. Why? Again, you're not making any sense. Hold on. Are you hiding something? Well, oh, yeah. Amame accepted every part of me. She saw me for who I was. It wasn't out of pity or sympathy. Her accepting I me came don't naturally. Like it was care. nothing. I've never met anyone like her. And I need to care for her the way she's cared for me. I promise We're to trying Amame. to solve a freaking murder case! So I can't let you. Kenny. That's all the more reason then. I hate Amame. Really wow, she is the her. worst. If we do nothing, Terror will accomplish his mission. A terrible virus is going to spread. The world will devolve into chaos. No one will be safe. <sighs> My favorite twist was Pepsi Lemon Twist. Haha. <laughs> I thought how it's put together was pretty neat, but it's eh, it's basically the game lied to you, sorta. 
Yeah, it's so dumb because they're like, oh, the Mizuki you were playing as wasn't actually the Mizuki you know. It was Mizuki in the mask. And it's like, then why would she look exactly the same? Like, I, what? And so it's like, oh, in the present, Yuki's just a drunk, but whoa, he was still investigating the case. And it's just like, why? I hate this. I hate this. This is stupid. It's gonna kill them all. Yeah, this annoyed me too. Someone died. Like, I watched a proper timeline video and a lot of it makes more sense. I'm probably gonna have to do that. I'm just gonna have to watch it all in like the like actual order. Like, everything that happened in the past, everything that's happening in the present. Because this is stupid. Not even a mommy. No. So you need to help us. We need mommy's information to stop this plan. A mommy must know something. A mommy just talk! Are you okay with ruining her future? Don't you want to protect her? Then please. I hate you all! Yeah, I have to talk to Shoma. Do you hate Terror? The man who killed your father? <laughs> Terror's plan is still ongoing. The Nirvana Initiative? It's going to bring nice madness to the whole world. We need to talk to Mame in order to stop it. Do you want Terror to win? Don't you want to stop his plan? Destroy his ambitions? Isn't that the only way to get closure for your father's death? If you resent Terror, if you want revenge, please. We need your help, Shoma. You finished that robot, right? Oh, uh, yeah. You named it Roboji, huh? Yeah, it's the second one. Like a second child, so I named him Roboji. He's much more powerful than before. Why did I click on the robot? It can hold so much more weight than the previous model. Wait a minute, who cares? Could you people just leave? Can I shoot them all? Whoa! No way. I looked in the closet, oh, and... God. What? You're right. It sure is. That little... Hey, Shoma. What is this? It's a bomb. A thermite bomb. Shoma, are you? I know that. Then why did you ask? Why is it here? I made it. You made it? Thermite reactions are pretty simple. You can make one easily using common products. But why did you make it? <sighs> this robo conversation so out of place. Yeah, it was weird. Why did I click on the robot? I looked in the closet. Pervy toast. I've always been a perv. Yeah, I could be a little pervy. Everyone's a little pervy. Let's be real. Well, to get revenge for my dad, I wanted to get terror. You were going to use this on him? Yeah, but I guess it has no use now. Terror is dead, right? God damn it. You just made the situation so much worse. Let's decide what to do about that later. Right. There is a more Just issue. stun gun them. Just paralyze them all. Freaking Amame. I hate you what so you much. The two of them aren't going to budge. <sighs> I really Shoot them. Do this. Shoot them. But if we have to use force. Catherine asks us if we consider ourselves a pervert. Anyone who answered wrong is a liar. Mm-hmm. She hopes to accidentally bump into a naked man while he naked and fall. <laughs> no, that is a little too weird. Oh, that's... Uh. No, I appreciate eye candy. If I actually have to touch them, then it's just like, oh, I don't know you. Get away from me. No, you can't do this. Yeah, I won't let you take Big Sis. Kenny. I will shoot you. That's enough. Amame. Big Sis. I hate her. I hate her so much. She is so it's dumb. Okay. I'll come back right away. Promise. Are no you promise. Sure? You'll die. Yeah. You promise? I promise. Now, Mame. Let's go. <sighs> you literally said that last stream, but sure. No, I did not. I did not. No! Uh, Amame, why can't you just be upfront and tell us everything? Oh wait, it's because she's stupid. Is Ryuki gonna be okay? 
We left him there. Are you finishing tonight in bed? Is I mean, am I close to the end? I just want to be done with this now. Well, we had to. We couldn't just leave the bomb unattended. So you left Ryuki to keep an eye on things. The bomb squad should be headed to Shoma's house right now. <laughs> it's quite a shock, though. Amame was the one who killed Uru and Tokiko. I never said that. But she's suspicious as all hell, isn't she? Regardless of how suspicious she is, she should know something about the Nirvana Initiative. When Ryuki synced into her yesterday, he didn't find anything. You can't drag a 60-hour game if people explain everything right at the start. Not in an hour? Not finishing in one to two hours? Do not worry. Mother flippin'! I received the Somnium data from Tama. Because Gosh, we are returning for a second time, we should be able to go deeper it's like, than the previous It's like when I was like, Oh man, I'm gonna finish 13 Sentinel soon! I'll just, like, finish it all tonight! And I thought it would only be like two and a half hours, and it turned out to be almost five hours. All right, we're ready to go. Start it up. Gonna have to go back to the last room and clip it. Yes, give me, find this evidence. I do not recall saying that, Regal. I'm sure you. Oh my! You say it one. Okay. Shut up, Peter. Let's begin. You're finishing AI Somnium files. Is literally how I found you. And you were up to like 2 a.m. Yeah, that was long too. Or Ace Attorney. What about Ace Attorney? Oh yeah, like finishing Ace Attorney. I was like, this is gonna be short. Nope, an extra hour added to the end. <laughs> Why do they drag out endings so much? As you know, this game will have a talk to everyone end game segment after the finale is done. You're right. You're right. That's so annoying. Amame, why do you suck so much? That's the TV. Welcome to the quiz show, Face to Face. I am your host, Andy's Komeiji. Why is Andy's head a freaking cube? Do they ever explain that? It disappeared. This is where Pokemon got it right. Beat the Elite Four, beat the champion, the end. Exactly. I don't know anything. Shut up. Huh? You know things, you liar. You really don't know. Mame? Mizuki, the data we got from Tama might come in handy. I know a streamer who was so bothered by the lack of explanation about his cubic head. <laughs> it's from when Ryuki sings No, for but moment. for real. He's the only person in this world with a cube head. Right. Why? When we shared information at the cathedral earlier. I extracted the evidence data that looked promising and converted it to a more usable format. Project this outward, and the structure of this Somnium world will waver and unveil hidden information. In other words, if we show Mommy the intel we got from Tama... We'll I've heard of square action. pants, but never a square head. <laughs> yes, but not just a Mame. You can use the information to target many things in this Somnium. So you're saying I can target, like, objects? Correct. If anything looks fishy, I'll try it out. <laughs> the tails are under Fish. look. View the information there. What?! Oh, uh... According to Tama's info, in the previous sync, there was a quiz battle. This is the first stage, the scavenger quiz. Amame likes music and voices. She collected many different kinds of sounds. She became highly skilled in gaining information from sounds. So that might mean that there's information in the sound of Mame Somnium. During this sync, we should focus on the sound. This is Mame's Somnium from yesterday. Ryuki and Tama competed in a quiz battle to get this information. The information is as follows. Amame was often troubled, but when in doubt, she always chose the right option. When in doubt or when needing to hide something, she chose the option on the right. Thusly, all the occult quiz answers were on the right side. So that wasn't just by chance. This may be a common rule in Amame's Somnium. 
This is information Ryuki and Tama acquired playing the Spot the Difference game in Amame Somnium. Amame came across many wounded things, important things, the heart, blood. She carries all of that damage inside. All the correct answers were bloodied or otherwise damaged when playing the Spot the Difference game. So we should look out for damaged things during the Sound and damage. Yes, let's keep that in mind. More information we got from Ryuki regarding Mame Sink. Nirvana, collected, genocide. Amame said these words. That has to be about the Nirvana initiative. Most likely. Mame must know something. Did you see his murder? This is the reason Ryuki decided to sink into Amame. According to the investigation, there was a high likelihood Amame saw terror when she found Komiji's body, but this has not yet been confirmed. That's all of it. Looks promising for the investigation. Yes. Let's use this wisely. Now, Aiba. Got it. Somnium scan, scan activate. activate. Now, Melox. Oh, okay, so that's a sound. It's the destroyed stuff. Other sound. And her. And her. And her. And her. Oh my gosh! Eight? Eight? Eight mental locks. So what game after this? I heard there's a Dragon Quest game you have to finish. Yeah. I have to do Dragon Quest and Persona 5 Strikers. More than usual. That shows how strongly she is willing to hide her secret. Amame, you stupid Let's fool. Let's try talking to her first. Apparently, Amame has a secret which she covers with a lie. N you don't say. In this Somnia, inspecting objects will make evidence appear. You can check the obtained evidence by pressing R2. When checking something, you can select the Show Evidence option to choose evidence from among the options. The key is in the evidence. Uh, so they said talk to her first, so let's talk to her. It's Amame. Talk. Amame, can you tell me what you know about the Nirvana and- I'm sorry, did someone say Nocturne? I haven't started Nocturne, so I don't- I don't even want to start it because I have such a huge backlog. I don't know. I don't know anything. The same answer. It seems suspicious. According to the info Tama gave us, she has to know something. Would you like to show her the evidence? It might cause a reaction. Let's show her some evidence. I don't have evidence. When her hidden truth is uncovered, the veil of lies crumbled. You don't say! Sometimes this game is like... real dumb. So I need to show her evidence, um, but I don't see what I can interact with. Or was I supposed to like talk to her again? List. Oh, do I talk to her with the clue list? No. It's a mame. I don't have evidence to show her, but let's try it anyway. Ah. About what Amame said in yesterday's sink. Let's confirm the details. This is information Ryuki got from Amame during yesterday's sink. Nirvana collected genocide is what Amame said. She has to be talking about the Nirvana initiative. Yes. We should show her this. Here, on top of time spent for selections, every time you use show, time will be depleted. When you are correct with show evidence, the current total spent time will be depleted. Look does not deplete time, so organize your information and choose wisely. This sucks. I hate this. Amame, yesterday you said Nirvana collected genocide, though it was in a dream. You were talking about the Nirvana initiative, correct? It was just an internet rumor. What site was it on? She's not saying anymore. I would like to keep questioning her, but I don't think we have anything that can draw more out of her. Let's check other locations. According to Tama... Why is... What? 
The characteristics we are looking for are something related to sound, something damaged, and right side only. Would you say it is that Walkman? From a certain time, I'm on that blank blank. The blank blank blank. How should I call on a UFO? Uh... Look at the sky? No, it's brave! Damn it, damn it, I'm not gonna get so... Damn it! A Vogueman. A cassette tape player. It's the one Mame always has on her. Um... Let's play? Time? Oh, this song. It was a gift from Gen. Mame. It has affected her emotionally, but she is still not responding. The evidence was related to sound. Why not try it on this? What? The Volkman? Yes. It might trigger a change. Mizuki, you have five Wait, minutes so left. Wait, so what? I have to... Show evidence. The information and sound. Mame's voice. The sound was distorted in the beginning. I was able to make out some words. Oh, it disappeared. We got the evidence. It should be fine. It's not information she got from the internet. Let's show Mame again. From such time, Mama started having nightmares. Uh, so, the information in sound and not this. What? The voice can't be determined, but she heard it from someone. The evidence for how she knew was. But she. Did it? Amame, you heard about the Nirvana Initiative from someone. We have an idea of who that person was, but let's set that aside for now. In any case, you couldn't forget what you heard. In your dream yesterday, you said Nirvana, collected, genocide, Amame. Answer me, what is the Nirvana Initiative? I don't know. Stop lying. You liar! The blank has no blank, even so, blank blank. Stop! You stop! Uh. I don't know anything! What's this? Then why are you trying so hard not to- This is Amame's defensive reaction. She really wants to hide something. However, it appears to be permeable. Why you always lying? We are one step closer. Feels like we're playing Mad Libs with all these blanks, for real. We should continue to evaluate how she reacts to get the information we are looking for. Let's look around. Looks like a lot changed. We are looking for something related to sound, something damaged, and right side only. Would you say that something damaged is this? It is in pieces, but I can determine that this is some kind of a cult magazine. This was not here before. Why is it in pieces? Uh, piece together? Four seconds, two seconds, two. Four seconds. A book on Nye's teachings. Mame? Do you have some kind of connection with Nye's? I read it yes. online. That is not possible. Lies! Is not you are such online. a liar! 
Is Amane lying? Yes. Does she have a connection with Nai? I mean... I wonder why the occult magazine turned into that book. Perhaps due to this Somnium, everything is presenting a false appearance. Hiding its true identity. A false appearance? Hey, Mizuki. Doesn't this book look like just the right side? Oh, can we use the evidence? You have to present the evidence. From a certain time, Amama started having recurring dreams. But she is a liar! Nice teachings. Only the right side. Uh, show... Show feet! Three, three, three. Show evidence. Uh, key. The right side. This is the truth? That seems to be the case. Isn't that the statue from Tokiko's desk? That doll was the one in the Nai's president's office. If Amame knows about it... Then she Amame, met Tokiko. Did you go to the president's office? Well, Amame? I always talked about it with Iris, the secret society of Nai's. I was curious, so I went to seek them out. That means she could have heard about the Nirvana initiative from Tokiko. Maybe it was so insane to her that it scared her, and she wanted to hide it. If that was the reason, she could have simply told us at this point. Yeah, true. There's another reason she can't tell us. Because she wants to be a part of it. She's dumb. The people, places, and things. Hey, hey. Wait, what? There's another one? Um, I don't think elephant. You have about four minutes left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think TV was another mental lock. A TV. Nothing is on the screen. Uh. Hmm. Break it. I'm sorry. Not in the mood. People, what happened? Blank. Okay, well, there's another TV, but that's not a piece of evidence, so I guess it is the elephant trinket. No, the person. Mysterious person. This is suspicious. Who is it? Um. Let's talk first. Who are you? Simulation. Tell me your name. Simulation. Not gonna ball. answer, huh? Perhaps this individual is a nice devotee. Oh, I got a times two. No! Oh no. Um. This is suspicious. Who is it? Gosh darn it. Um, I'll do inspect because I don't want to use forty-eight seconds. Is there anything that stands out that might give away who it is? Turn on, giggity. Hmm. With them looking like this. Hey, this is just yes. Show evidence. Three seconds, two seconds, four seconds. What is the evidence? The nice teaching. This person has to do with nice. In order to further narrow down who they might be, the broken glass doll. A mame came into contact with you and subconsciously stored information related to you. The reason the doll appeared in the Somnium is because Amame went to your room. And the reason Nai's teachings were found here is because she met you. Which would make you... Tokiko Shigure? The code to the basement is 49010095. Huh? It is Tokiko. We should ask her what relationship she had with Amame. Yeah, let's show her the evidence. The patterns were all similar. Um. Yo. A mama must have gotten it from Tokiko or was eavesdropping. Either way, she was in the room. The proof is. In the pudding! If Mama knows about this, she must have been in Tokiko's room. She also said she was seeking them out because she was curious. But there's no solid proof she met with Tokiko yet. The proof of that would be. Nice teaching. 
Or the right side? No. Nice teaching. Yeah. Amame, have you seen a book of nice Unpopular teachings? opinion. Rice pudding is better than vanilla pudding. Heck yes it is! How is that an unpopular opinion? That is the right opinion. They only exist. No, so it's not an opinion. It's fact. And the broken glass doll. That was in the Nye's president's office. Tokiko's room. And you knew the access code that only Tokiko should know. What happened between you and Tokiko? You'd Tell be surprised how many people absolutely mommy. hate rice pudding. What's to hate about it? Have they ever had oh. hazelnut rice pudding? It's amazing. I saw everything. If you don't do as I say, I'm sure you know where this is going. I can't run from it. I need to do it. You probably saw Amame with, um... Uh... The body that Omeji found. A question with no answer has no blank. I knew it. Amame was being threatened by Tokiko. Stop! I'm just trying to help you, you stupid. I don't know! I don't know anything! Wait. Tokiko was murdered. What are you trying to say? Mame would never do that. But Gen would. Tokiko had some kind of leverage over Amame. Some kind of secret. Same with mint chocolate ice cream. You'd be surprised how many, how divided people are. I don't hate mint chocolate, but I prefer quiet, um, black raspberry chip. No. Oh, like mint one more ice cream is very refreshing. And then when you get the bits of chocolate, it's like, mmm, yummy. Date was explaining this at the end of household earlier. Amame has motive to kill Terror as well. Her father was killed by Terror. Andy's Komeji. Uh, Gen also has motive to do all of this because he loves Amame and he wants her to be happy. Out of that? This is exactly how he was found. So his body is inside the bag. Uh, just gotta go ahead and show evidence because this is his right side. Five seconds. Uh, let's just do three seconds. Not this? What? More information. Uh, is it a wound? Wait. If you find something damaged in Somni, you should inspect it. But this isn't damaged. Um, threatened by According Tokiko. According to the footage that was on TV, Amame was being threatened by Tokiko. Favorite flavors: cookie dough. Cookie dough is real good too. Tokiko knew Amame's secret and was pistachio strawberry to cheesecake for me. Ooh, strawberry cheesecake sounds good for ice cream. Amame had a determined look on her face as she said she needed to do that something. Oh my gosh, um, outside of black raspberry chip, my other, like, flavor that I really like, uh, Ben & Jerry's Half-Baked. It has cookie dough and brownies in it with vanilla ice cream. Oh, so good. This? I messed up. No! Never mind. Um, oh shoot, I can't. There has to be something here or else... Yeah. The hidden elevator reacts after showing the blue figure this evidence. That would mean the blue per Mizuki. I am. Mm -hmm. They won't let me leave this stupid. Oh, okay. It was terror. Bah! Terror's iron mask. Six years ago, at the studio. I saw them. I was trying to untie Ryuki, and they came in, pushing a stretcher. So I ran. But they caught me. Next thing I knew, I had a gun pointed at me. Shoma's headphones. As Ryuki suspected, Amame had contact with Terror, Uru. At that time, she probably did not realize that inside the body bag was Komeji's corpse. But when Ryuki regained consciousness, Amame saw it, and... She realized the man in the iron mask she saw was the person who killed him. Yes. That's no right or wrong. 
Three minutes what? left, Mizuki. Careful now. Ah, oh, damn it! I got a times two for what? Uh, where are his headphones? Shoma's headphones. Uh, can I show? Damn it! I have to put it on. No wait, I could go back. I could waste time with something that'll take less time. A wrench. Uh, oh, still sixteen seconds. I will. Huh? Uh. It is a jacket belonging to Andy's Komeji. Uh, sixteen seconds. Check pockets. Nope. Damn it! They all take sixteen seconds. It's an elephant figure, Amame's personal belonging. Yeah, never mind. Fine, I'll just go to the headphones. Shoma's. Um, but no, put on gives me another strike. Damn. A photo of a deep sea fish. Take photo. How is it? Damn it. What doesn't give me the biggest time penalty? A wrench. Yeah, the wrench is just totally wrong. Touch. I remembered. This is from six Pictures years ago. Came. It's the sign that was stabbed into Jin Furrow's body. The QR code leads to the ViewCube video. It was linked to the QR video. Mm. Nope. Oh, Iron Mask. Iron Mask. Put on break. This all sucks. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna break it. It might relieve some of Mame's stress. It disappeared. Cool. No good. That was a waste. I want to do something to help relieve her burden. Oh, I got a third. Okay, never mind. I thought that was just like a time penalty, but okay. I guess I freaked out about nothing. Headphones. So, let us show two seconds, five seconds, eight seconds. Let's... Ooh. No evidence. Um... It's not broken, so... This? Mm. Nope. Threatened by Toki. Oh. Huh? Nope. Is it sound? Okay, it was sound. Psh. Huh. I can hear something. Since Shoma's gone, I'm gonna borrow this. The robot. Sorry. Shoma's robot. Mame took Shoma's robot with her? I used it to go shopping. That's it. Lies! Oh. Uh, it's only the left half. The center circle at the stadium. It is highly likely that it was that monowheel robot that carried Uru's body there. Right, but without using the slicer, it's impossible. Mommy didn't know that the slicer was in the basement of Horidori Institute. I don't know about that. Mizuki, you have less than two minutes left. Please hurry. Yeah, I'm gonna fail. Nothing's. The only thing that's broken now is Terra's mask, but the it's the left mask. half. It's broken in half. Down the middle. It is the left side. Or depending oh, on how okay. you look at it, the, right, the side. right side of the wearer. Indeed. Let's call it the right eye side. Then we go feet. Five, eight, four. Let's do yeah. Evidence. The right side. This is the statue at Horidori Institute. Four nine zero blah 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 blah. Nothing looks off about it at first glance, but there's got to be something. We should search this place. She was there when we were there. 
Well, not this current Mizuki. Quartz. That's how Leon knew. Okay. Because I was like, how. When has Leon ever worked with Mizuki? It's here. It is a little past 12 a.m. on the 13th. This is the conversation that was held in the basement of Horidori Institute. So, what we were hearing was Mame? If she was not present, this conversation would not have played. Mame knew how to get to the basement. I suppose she was headed there on that day too, but she heard your voices and scrambled to hide. Why? That's where Tokiko's left half was, correct? Are you accusing me? Yes! We have this much proof. I think you have an idea of what Amame did. Mizuki. Hey, Mizuki. Yeah. Mizuki, you're an Abyss investigator. You need to face the truth. I know. I know. I'll do this right. Ba ba ba. Now we use all the evidence on her. Um, two, one, three, four, five. Uh. 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 What's the second one? Uh. uh well, she saw him first. And then she was threatened by Toki. Nope. Oh, okay, I guess we're just doing everything. Amane, I thought we had to do it in a certain order, you but... You killed Uru to get revenge for your father, correct? 21345, the bomber's secret society code. But Tokiko saw you and blackmailed you. You killed her to keep her quiet. Then, you left Tokiko's right half in the president's office. And the left half remained in the basement of Horidori Institute. <laughs> You're not so smart. So many mistakes. Yeah? Then why don't you tell us? Did kill them, you stupid. We just said you killed him, and she's like, oh, so many mistakes, like Yeah, killed him. Mommy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't want to hear your laugh. What's wrong? We're wrong, right? You didn't kill anyone, did you? Please, tell me you didn't do it! Shut up. This is her subconscious. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You shut up. Mommy... What would you have done? Can you honestly say you wouldn't do the same? Really? You always make the right decision? You don't know anything. Don't talk to me like you understand! This place is... Mommy? The Enda household. I'm sorry. We're getting a divorce. What are we going to do then? I hate to ask you to do this. But you need to choose which of us you'd like to stay with. You want me to choose like right now? I'm sorry. It's all your daddy's fault. I wasn't making money, I caused trouble for your mother. I'm really sorry. Which is worse to lose? A father or mother? What? Which is worse to lose? A father or mother? Depending on who you're closer to. I suppose she's asking you to answer the question like she had to. Oh. With you, Dad. I answered wrong. I no. Help. So I need to look after you. Thank you, Amame. 
I'm so glad. She went with the bomb. I I did it wrong. If I chose my dad, I wonder how my future would have been different. Gosh darn it. Let me redo. Come on. Mother. <laughs> I'm going with mom. Mom works really hard. She needs my help. That's true, isn't it? You need to take care of your mom. I love your comedy, Dad. I'm always on your side. Thank you. Daddy's gonna do his best. Just you watch. She must feel guilt for her decision. But she did nothing wrong. I can understand that would bother her. And what's next? You got a prize at a contest? <laughs> That's amazing, Shoma! It was always your dream to make a robot. Good job! Yeah, thank you. It'll be a good memory. This might be my last time. Last time? Why? I used so much money to make that robot. Dad wanted a new outfit for work, but he's been putting it off. I can't be asking for stuff for my robots. I see. If I work after school and on weekends, I can make like 100,000 yen a month, maybe. With that money, I can buy robot parts and a new outfit for Dad. That's a lot of money! You're here for the interview, right? You want to work the night shift? Yes. I want to make a lot of money. How old are you? If you're in high school, I can't make you work late. Huh? Be truthful and be poor. Or lie and make money. Which would you choose? This Another question. isn't... A hard question? I lied in order to work, but if I didn't... I see. Okay. <sighs> All you... the other jobs were too low paying, but I have some free time, so I'll come home and eat dinner. If we cook at home, it would save money, right? You don't have to do that. But I think Dad would be happier about seeing you than the money. Oh, Amame. I didn't know you were here. Welcome home, Dad. I saw my dad more, but I have noticed his problems. No. It's okay. I'm 20 years old. You look so young. Well, the more popular you are, the more you get paid, so good luck. Okay, thank you. <sighs> she wanted to work, even if it meant lying about her age. The, the annoying thing about this whole thing no, is they're like, oh, can't you feel for she a mama? Look what family. she did for her family. We just recently found out that Komenji was her dad. We had no indication of it before this. This makes me feel nothing. And like, we just found out that she's Shoma's sister too. Like, I, oh, I don't oh, care. Sorry to call you so late. It's fine. I just finished work. Are you okay? What? I was watching that one show on my phone, face to face. It got pretty crazy. Right. That. Uh, I'm okay. I didn't see half a corpse, but... You sound upset. Should I come see you? You want me to be with you, right? That's why you called. No, that's not it. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, don't worry about me. You be careful, too. It can be dangerous out there at night. I'm gonna go see Dad. I need to support him. 
Also, that phone is gigantic. What should I do? I'm scared. Oh, Iris. You were there too, right? Yeah. I saw the dead body. Oh, look at Omame. She's such a kind, caring person. Ooh, don't you feel bad for her? No. No? Please. I want you to be here. I'm... I'm... I forgot who she chose. What would you do if your best friend and your family asked for help at the same time? And you could only choose one. You say your dad. But you were a jerk and chose your friend. I chose my best friend. But if I went to go see my dad... Iris, I'm really sorry, but I need to go see someone. He needs my help. I need to be there for him. Okay. Mushy mushy. You did it! You pranked my dad! <laughs> I'm sorry to ask you for such a weird thing out of the blue. I can stay on the line though. I'll be listening. <laughs> okay. Shut up. I want to see dad. Maybe he wouldn't have died. She said on the phone to Iris, Hey, I have to see someone else. You could have just said your dad, and Iris would be like, Oh, shoot, your dad, okay. okay. I'll be right there. Oh, Mama, you're stupid. Iris, where are you now? Thanks, Mommy. You're dumb. Mame regrets this too. Mame. For being all about family and like, oh, I can buy a new suit for my dad. Like, you decided to go see your best friend? You're stupid. Like, this doesn't make oh. sense. I don't want to read this. This world is only a simulation. You could have been saved by this truth, but oh well. I'm going to tell you what I told you in the basement again. I saw everything that you did. If you don't want me to reveal what I know, do as I say. What are you going to make me do? On the night of the 12th, I will use the slicer to take my own life. What? No. Tokiko killed herself? Cause she's crazy. Afterward, I want you to take my right half to the president's office. Leave my body on the desk. Use the hidden elevator when coming here. I will explain how to use it later. I will tell you about the master key and access code. But like... <laughs> she already told Amabe <laughs> that she's going to kill herself. Why are you still listening to her? Amabe, you're so dumb. I saw everything you did in the basement. If you don't want me to tell. Then, like, listen to me even after I die. Like, you're so dumb. They're in the walls. Hey, Sal, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Hope you've been well, dude. Why do I... That's not all. There is more I need you to do. You know what will happen if you decline, don't you? Which do you choose? Have your biggest secrets spilled? Or be part of some dangerous plan? The secrets! <laughs> you dumb idiot. I had to obey. I had to do what she said. I understand. I can't run from it. I need to do it. Girl. Oh, I'm a helpless little girl. Oh no, feel bad for me. Nope. You, you chose this. <laughs> I don't feel sorry for you. I feel like you should do a whole essay about how none of this makes any sense. Yeah, this is honestly... Dumpster fire. <laughs> this is it. Uru Somizuki. Yes, this world is an imperfect one. I was put through much hardship, but it's all a simulation after all. As long as I can reach Moksha. 
all will be well. The teachings of Nyes are absolute, as is the prophecy. Crazy hey, too. Can I ask one thing? Yes. Are you really terror? <laughs> yes, I am. What of it? Do you remember what happened on February 13th, six years ago? Of course. I will never forget. That was the fateful day I met you. Ah! The, his portrait is looking right at you. That's creepy. You were a witness to history. You are worthy to know our ideals. Which is why I invited you here. Enough about the past. Let's talk about the future. A ViewCube video will soon be made public. Nirvana X. Many people will watch it. Those who see it will collect in a predetermined location. Why? The first step for all mankind to reach Moksha. I want to share the excitement with as many people as possible. At this important place, the intersection between the warp and weft. That's where the sound Also, Tokiko's crazy because she's like, I want, like, we all need to read Moksha. But she killed herself, so it's like, so you don't follow your own teaching? She's dumb. And the Nirvana <sighs> Initiative will become reality. I know what he did. I saw what he did. He came to the studio with a corpse on a stretcher. <laughs> oh, my biggest secret this is, is I saw the murderer. Don't you think so? <sighs> like, why? Law, you're so dumb. Why? Why? Why do you just laugh about it? The daughter of the man you killed is right here, right in front of you. He killed my dad for some stupid teachings and prophecy. He ruined Shoma's life and mine. It's all his fault. All of it. Someone important was hurt in front of me. Make the person apologize. It wasn't revenge. done in front of you, but okay. You. It's all your fault. <laughs> Regardless of the motive, Amame committed a serious crime. That cannot be overlooked. Yep. I know. But this is just too much. If she never got involved, it wouldn't have happened. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. If only she chose her father over her mother. If only you she don't saw him more. know that for sure. He might still be alive. He also might if not. We don't him, know. If she didn't follow him, she may not have killed Uru. She had if a choice to happen, not kill Uru. Tokiko wouldn't have used her. But oh, her biggest secret sense. was that she killed Uru, not that she saw Uru bring um you can bring the stretcher into the. All you want. But again, but you Tokiko was dead. Your path. Like, what the heck? She did not kill Uwu. That is the truth of this existence. I chose this path! I had to choose this path! Of course I feel guilty! Of course I'm scared! But I did it! But did you? You clearly have regrets if you are this hung up over it, you stupid girl. Mommy. See, but then she wouldn't have daddy issues. Then she would be an e-girl, which means no only friends for. 
sorry. Oh my gosh. Ooh, ooh. Da -da -da. And be honest, I have no idea what's going on. Um, stupid stuff's going on. You don't have to really know. Do I have a second left? Nope. I ran out of time. Lame. The end of craving. Mame, I think I understand. Uro Somazuki, terror was killed by you, Mame. And Tokiko wasn't killed. She set herself up on the slicer and took her own life. But I'm still not clear on some things. Will you talk to us? You better. Oh, eyeball. Which do you want to befriend? Dolphin, turtle, jellyfish, whale. What's crazy? Well. That's impish! I hate this. I hate this. Uh, jellyfish, you are jelly- I should have gone with jellyfish. I have a pet turtle, so I'd go with that. Ah! I picked a wrong answer. Why did you meet with Uru? Five days ago, on February 10th. I got a call from Uru, telling me he wanted to meet me at Horidori Institute. He called himself Terror. Six years ago, I met Terror at Studio Devita, so I knew it was him. Terror was the one who killed your father, Yonaharu Enda. So, you met him with the intention of killing him? Well, that explains why he didn't talk to the police. I don't know. I don't know what got into me. I knew I hated him, but... I don't think I wanted to kill him. I wanted to hear what he had to say. Why did Udo ask to see you? I think he wanted to brag about his plan. He had a smug look on his face when he was explaining it to me. The Nirvana Initiative? Well, why you, Mame? Mizuki, do you remember Uru's diary? February 13th. I met the person of my destiny. On that day, at the west door of Studio Devita, Uru cornered Amame. They were face to face, close enough to touch. It is possible that... Uru fixated on Amame. Gross. Uh, why was Uru's left half at the stadium? I carried it. I borrowed the robot Shoma made. The one with one wheel. February 13th. Day before the worst day of the year. <laughs> Tokiko ordered me to do it. And that's why I sent you the message on Nile, Mizuki. Because Tokiko told me to. I sent the message from the phone she gave me. What about Uru's right half on the ritual platform at the cathedral? I didn't move the body. It was Tokiko. I don't know why she did that. I'm guessing she wanted to hide the right half of the body for some reason. What does all this mean? Tokiko forced Amame to send the message, so it would be Mizuki who found Uru's left half. And for an unknown reason, she hid the right half. I don't get it. Because his his left other half was found six years ago, you dumb butts. Why did Tokiko commit suicide? I don't know. She didn't tell me. On February 10th, I knocked out Uru and put him on the slicing machine. After the machine stopped, I sensed someone behind me. Tokiko was standing there. I saw everything. Shall we? I will give them to you if you don't do as- Her first order was to move the right half of the body. Tokiko's body. It was on the night of the 12th that I moved her. I went to the basement of Horidori Institute and found Tokiko's body there. Just like she told me. She specified that I move the body to the president's office. She told me, put the right half of the body on the desk and about how to get inside the room. She gave me the master key to the staircase as well. And how to use the hidden elevator up to the office. So 
It was Ryuki that she saw. Ah, it was Amame that Ryuki saw. Why did you follow her orders even if she was dead? Well, I've documented what you did and gave it to one of my most trusted subordinates. If you stray from my commands even slightly, that evidence will be sent to the police. I see. About Tokiko's left half. She didn't give me any orders about the left half, so I just left it on the slicer. I was curious, though, so I did take a look. I committed a crime. A crime that I can never take back. I can't reflect, repent, or apologize. Nothing will fix what I did, no matter what my reasons were. I killed a human being. But I couldn't forgive him for what he did. That man who killed my father, all for some plan. What's that about anyway? Some stupid plan. That's why my father had to die. Mame, I understand how you feel. But think about how Shoma and Geni are going to take this. I know. I know that. I know that they trusted me. I know that I betrayed them. Thinking about them hurts so much. My chest feels like it's going to explode. The guilt. And Komeiji, too. I'm sure he didn't want you to avenge his death. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Everyone. I'm Half so cat. Sorry. Thank you. Shut up. <laughs> it's like, okay, now I see why you had to follow Tokiko, because someone had it, but it's like... You could just say, hey, it's a lie! <laughs> After she regained her composure, we asked Mame about the Nirvana Initiative. She told me that what we saw in the Somnium was the full extent of what she knew. She had no more information to add. It's almost 11, not much time left. We need to find where the plan is going to take place. Damn it, what do we do? We need to stay calm. Keep a level head and think. Can I ask a stupid question? Why did terror slice people in half? Why does that even matter at this point? Just think about it. Why? Because the slicer was in the basement? Yeah, but that's not the reason. There are plenty of other ways to kill. Uru despised Jin and Jakara because they took his organs. So he wanted to kill them in the cruelest way he could think of. But why kill Komeiji the same way? Because he took something important from Uru. Six years ago, on February 11th, Komeiji took the corpse from the rooftop amusement park in his suitcase. Right. Jin's left half. And that must have angered him. Maybe. But that amount of anger would be nothing compared to what he felt for Jin and Chikara. I recall something Tokiko said. What you call the HB case is but a small part of the plan. That's exactly what I'm talking about. The three of them were sliced in half as part of the plan. There must be some kind of meaning behind the bodies being cut in half and left in specific places. Let's see. The right half of Jin Furaway's body was the one that fell from the ceiling of Tabaita, right? His left half was found at Misaton Rooftop Amusement Park, like we said earlier. Chikara Horadori's right half was found in a Sekiba High classroom. And his left half was found at Yoyagi Park. Andy's Komeiji's right half was found at Studio Dvaita, just like Jin's. And his left half was also the same as Jin's, on the stage at the rooftop amusement park. Hmm... I wonder why. Why put Komeiji's body in the same places? The location must have been important somehow. Jin Furaway's body was disturbed and removed from the scene by Yonaharu Enda, a.k.a. Andes Komeiji. There must be some kind of significance to replacing the body at that location, this time using Komeiji's. I don't follow. What does it mean? Chakras, Chakras are, points. are points. By definition, By definition a, point a point cannot be reduced, reduced further. further. 
It cannot be severed from itself. So the chakras will remain, tethered between the left and right sides of the body, like a string. The intersection between the warp and weft. That's where the scene can occur. Well, that would mean the Nirvana Initiative is happening at... This map will assist you. Use this to infer where the plan will take place. When you figure out the location, close the map and tell everyone. Okay, well... Okay, so that's the park. Park. Wait, where was the park? That's the stadium. That's the park. Park, stadium. Department store. And... Seki Bahai. So they're all, like, right there on the top left corner. So where would it happen? In, right in the middle? So the stadium? Wait, okay. This map is to assist you with your deductions. When you find a location, close the map and tell everyone. Oh. Oh, was I wrong? What? I don't get this. When you find a location, close the map and tell everyone. What? <laughs> Shrine. Apartment store. ION. Sekiba warehouse office. Nice central hospital abyss. Oh, studio of Devitas right there. Okay, so then it's gonna be the No, yeah, I said the stadium. Oh. Yep. We have our answer. Right. The rocket carrying TC Purge. It will be launched from... That's right. The stadium. That was a really confusing way to figure out where the freak this is happening. Oh, I guess you were supposed to check all the locations and then be like, Oh, it's centered around here. Ay. <sighs> Whoa, hello. Terror, Uru Samazuki. Yeah, you predicted this. Yeah, in pieces. There was a code in the Nirvana X video that indicated the time and place of this plan. We were never able to crack it, but it probably would have led us here. The plan was probably to have everyone who cracked the code assemble here. But well, what could that possibly stand for that it would be a stadium? Nirvana collected genocide. Currently, the stadium is surrounded by riot police. Yeah, have them come inside, please. Barriers have been erected over 500 yards out in every direction. Even the police and National Guard are not permitted in this no-go zone. It should help mitigate the spread of TC Purge. Ah, okay, then why are we inside? Guess that's why no one's here. 
Have them come inside. That's what she said. longer are we gonna play this game yeah for real how much longer but where is it i attempted to scan the area with x-ray but i did not find anything i guess we'll have to look harder the rocket has to be around here somewhere should we get them to help they seem like they could use something to do What time is it now? 11.20 a.m. 40 minutes till noon. Okay, if you say so. Leave the people to me. I'll get them all at once. You two, go look for the rocket. Huh? What are you talking about? Well, Date is blind in one eye, and Bibi, you're... Don't worry about my heart. I'll be fine. Don't go breaking my heart. What? Enough talk. Let's get going. Better if I yeah, try. Yeah, let's get groping. What? I, I mean, let's get going. Mizuki, please allow me to terminate Date after all this is over. Not if I do it first. Yes, grope everyone. Um, I should have saved and stopped before we chose the location of the stadium. But I thought it would just be like a, hey, here it is, and there would be another, like, chapter break. But nope. Uh, we are, we are going into this. Six and a half hours left to go. <laughs> no! I'm joking, I have no idea. Oh, you're still going. You can stop Don't at worry. the next dialogue. No one's gonna die. I loaded it up with stun rounds. Oh yeah, that's true. I could have just saved it. Emmanuel save. <sighs> Let's go. Yeah. These are actual cutscenes. Yeah. So, uh, it's only 9:13 p.m. for you. It's 9:31, sir. <laughs> No one's gonna die. That's someone who's gonna kill someone would say. Yep. 12:30 a.m. for you. Golden, go to sleep. Stand there. Go to sleep, Thanks, baby. Is your heart okay? I Don't just you. stand there, guys. Okay, let's go. Oh no. I'm surrounded by four people, even though when I started this fight, I knocked like 15 of them away. Whatever am I going to do? Oh no, shooting! Sleep is for the weak. I am weak. <laughs> like, you're this fast and you, you got scared about four guys surrounding you, Misuki? Like, for real? Oh gosh. With guns! Like, ugh.
whatever. Are you okay? Yeah. Sorry. You hang back. But I can't. I'm not saying it for your sake. It's for Mizuki. Please don't die. Also, Please. you're the stupid one who looked away well, and I just stood there. Also, Mizuki. But... Date. Anyway, heal up here. Got it. Look for the rocket. Got it. <laughs> Take their giant grenade launchers and shoot it back at them. Come on. I thought Date was gonna open his eye and he'd have a totally new eyeball. Uh, it is so nice to be home. Why'd you come back? To retrieve my stamp collection. Ah. I do not want to have to start over. <laughs> it appears that you require assistance. Need a hand. Shooty toesy toes. <laughs> this game is silly. Hand. Take well, this! Take use. this! Take is this! Your Understood. I am with you, Konami. He likes Cyclops and open his eyes and shoot Let's laser go. beams. Heck yeah! Oh, please Let's stop go. shaking. And like, no one's coming after her? Like, you all just gave up? A vulnerable person on the ground? Okay! Those were pretty intense button presses. <sighs> like, the tension for the action, I only feel tension to get the button commands right because there's a trophy for getting every single one right. Where's the rocket? But, like, in every fight, it's like, hey, I'm super strong. And then it's just like, oh no, I'm surrounded. Someone help me. And then it's going back to, okay, I'm super strong again. And I'm like, can you have things be consistent? Wow, JT, don't stop. I'm so close. What? <laughs> They're kind of better in the first game. Yeah. In the first game, there were more stakes because Date was not like... A, a superhuman. A I'm never gonna be able to stop. Missile. That's what she said. <laughs> Oh no! My cursor is frozen! Oh no. Oh, thank the lord. Ooh, that scared me. The bullets. Nope, can't save. Not going through. is true. Then what do we do? Let me finish. Terror specified metallic objects. Therefore, if you use your body, we can get through. Correct. 
And who are the two most strongest people Sunday's here? Bibi and I should be able to destroy the rocket with our bare hands. Yeah. You did oh the no. Let's go. I can't fight five people, but I can knock down a rocket. You can't so be serious. Stupid. Why? Insulation. They are all wearing insulated suits. But what if BB and I hit him? Iba, how much time do we have? Twenty minutes. Thank God for subtitles, or else I'd never be able to understand what he's saying. For real! It's like... It's like Bane from Dark Knight Rises. Can't understand a freaking thing he's saying. We're running out of time. To get close to the rocket, we need to do something about these guys. Yeah, like... <laughs> but stun bullets won't work, right? We'll have to use brute force. I agree. Sorry, people, but... But... Okay. The people Date knocked out with bullets, sure. But BB and Mizuki hit them with blunt do? force. Isn't it obvious? They should not be back up. I'm going to break their bones. <sighs> we were thinking the same thing. Do we have the same mind? We're all melting into one hive mind. You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it. Molded by it. <laughs> Bullets. I switched them to real ones. Don't worry. I'm only going to shoot their limbs. seen this before. It's optical camouflage. But it's okay. Uh -huh. If you use thermo mode, you and Date can. As for the other Mizuki. I'll be fine. I'll think of something. Something? It's fine. Such a, let's no. <laughs> Date, let's go! <laughs> There's no one around her. Did I fail? Oh, do I have to hold it? I don't know if I have to hold it or like push it. Oh no, did I get a game over? I can't believe how bad this is. Yeah, me neither. Oh, shoot! I think I messed up. Yeah. Oh, damn. Get rid of them! Roger that. <sighs> or not? I was wondering where you were. Waiting, huh? Oh, please don't show off. Yuki, Tama. I... You guys, you took way too long. What the hell were you doing until now? Sorry, the riot police stopped us. We only got through the barricade with. I think 
I reached the end, huh? Bibi and Date are still fighting. Both the Iris and Kizzy are in the armored car, running a rock. They pulled over and got off, leaving Moma inside. And... Um, I can explain. I can't save! I can't save! To protect Amame. To avenge my father. We won't let Terror win! We're gonna ruin his stupid plan! So, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm glad you're all here, but Shoma too? What? Are you saying I can't help? Well... If you think that, you're mistaken. He has the most powerful weapon here. You mean... The detonator. It has a fingerprint lock, so only I can use it. The detonator? Yep, the thermite bomb. Mizuki, think about it. Do you think destroying the rocket will really stop the plan? I don't think it's gonna be that easy. Even if it's prevented from taking off, I'm sure Terra rigged it to explode. Which would still spread TC Purge. The wind would carry it. And ultimately, the damage would be the same. There would just be fewer initial infections. So what's your plan? That's where the thermite comes in. A thermite reaction can create temperatures up to 3,000 degrees. TC Purge would get burned up in something that hot. It's the only way to stop it from spreading. How do they? But okay. Is it a thermite bomb made of metal? How is it going to get past the wall? Don't worry. That reflecting wall must be controlled from the inside somehow. We just gotta get in and break whatever device controls it. JT, you should feel bad. Mm -hmm. I feel terrible. From working? Hopefully. I feel a headache. I feel a stomach ache. Anyone remember the stream where we talked about pervy luck or whatever? I feel like there were a couple streams like that. Oh, I accidentally skipped that line. Whoops. Thermal mode running on all cylinders. I can see it all. I remember the stream where we talked about college parties in MySpace. <laughs> Indeed. So, why did you come back? Date rejected me. What? I don't need you. Go help Mizuki. That guy. Hey We're guys, ten minutes one. left. Hurry up. I don't think any of you can see the enemies except Ryuki. But if you apply enough force, you can break the camouflage function. So I'm gonna lead the way. Follow your lead no, and beat up anyone wanna... you see, huh? Wallop them after you make them visible. But not you, Shoma. Huh? Shoma, you need to stay back. If they get to you, you won't be able to use the thermite. Fine. Okay, you all ready? Yeah. I'll need your help. You got it. For the future of mankind. Yeah. Yeah. The stakes don't feel as high as first game. At this point, we're committed to finishing then. Cool. I don't think I could take much more of this. After, like, I just want to get all the trophies for platinum and then be done. <laughs> I mean, they are higher, just kind of, eh. Only kinda. staying behind to protect 
Shoma in case they break through. Okay. Everyone just go guns blazing. Kizzy, what is that? I just found it. Is that Moma's? Uh, maybe. Well, who cares where it came from? I like this game, but I did wish it just kind of ended okay, before the TC Perch stuff, or however it was spelled. Because I also kind of done with this game at this point. Yep! What is even going on? Madness. Okay, Kamam is all like, I killed someone, oh no! And here Kizuna has a freaking machine gun and just mowing tons of guys down. Okay. I saved you, Mr. Date. I love you. Ryuki, Ryuki, hey! Mr. Date. Please, stop him. My crimes will never be, ever be forgiven. What the hell are you talking about, Ryuki? You know I've already forgiven you. Mr. Dante, th thank you. No, Ryuki, don't die on me. A hero of justice can't die. Don't shake that him. Has always been the rule. Ryuki, come on. Ryuki. Ryuki. Mizuki, we don't have time. Oh Take no. Care of Ryuki later. We're in trouble. Whatever will we do? Ha ha ha, you can't you guys can't defeat the rocket because of some other stupid thing. Oh no, what's the last possible thing we can do? Don't worry guys, we'll do it somehow. Blah blah blah. Iba, how much time? Five minutes. Mizuki, less than three minutes. Quiet. I know, I know. How did that take two minutes? Mizuki, go on ahead. We'll handle things here. Huh? What are they? Good game. Please, no more. No more button presses. I don't want to do it anymore. The distance to the rocket miraculously increased. <sighs> Gangan Ropa was honestly better. Is this fight still going? Yeah, I'm... I'm done. I'm done. Just hurry up! Oh, because it's a metal pipe. Just go through! Hurry up! Huh? I have not played Dangan Rot yet. How? The 
It's okay. We can still make it. Huh? <sighs> what are you going to do? Do you even need to ask? That's a wait, what Kirby? That's one budget boss head? Oh, whoa. Oh, I thought there was gonna be another but Mother flippin'! Okay, Mizuki still has to feel the heat from that if it gets that hot. <sighs> oh, the budget boss had to create those motorcycles and she made two of them. You can hear it from that far, that's impressive. Yeah. <sighs> I hate all of this, I hate this. Thanks, Mizuki. Same to you, Mizuki. Ah, oh, jeez. I hate this. Braver than all flowers. I do like BB's <sighs> bare feet lifestyle. Out. Good job, you two. How long's it been? A week now. I know. I'm still feeling all tingly about it, too. It'll wear off in six months or so. What do you think of mermaids? Slimy. How- how is that loving? <laughs> Wait, I can save. No, I'm- no, I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna barrel through, raise my pay. Why? Well, isn't it obvious 
we were able to solve the case because I worked really, really hard. Oh, patting yourself on the back, huh? Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. So uncool. Uncool. Not as uncool as your underwear. My underwear has nothing to do with it. And excuse you, my underwear is really cute. I want to see. Oh, grow up. I didn't mean it like that. It's just for my future reference. Loud, Yuki. He's gone. Don't let it eat at you forever. There was nothing you could have done. But... About Bibi's adoption. Why were you hiding her? You could have just told me. In retrospect, yeah. But there was a reason I couldn't tell you. If I told you that, I would have to tell you everything. Not to mention, Mizuki is my secret weapon. She's like my personal ninja. But Ryuki knew about Bibi, right? Yeah. I didn't want him to find out, but... He saw us. Mama and I were shopping at the supermarket. I told you not to call me that. Who cares? They already know. Mama, huh? Are you jealous, Mizuki? N no, that's not it. Mama boss. <laughs> about Tama. I wonder what she's doing about now. Well, I'll let it be. About Marco. He's an AI bot, just like Aiba and Tama. He's shy, so he doesn't talk much. He opens up to me sometimes. He's just introverted. About oh, Aiba's memory. Oh, that. We weren't able to completely recover the memory. Mama, but... <laughs> Mama said, knock you out. The days I spent with Aiba, we at least got that. That's a convenient excuse to not hire a VA for him, for real. That data has been re-uploaded and re-implemented. I now have memory of that time. I wanted to ask about my pay. This again? But... Well, I do have to praise you for a job well done. So, I have a special present for you both. A present? Oops. It was left at a special place. You should find it. A special place. Your friends should know what I'm talking about. I don't know what you're planning, Go see but... every one of your friends. I guess it's not a bad idea to see everyone again. Well then, yeah. Let's get going. Shoot my face. Oops. I uh, guessed it. What a psychic. <laughs> I don't want to shoot you. I'm <sighs> so done with this. I'd say this game is worse than Virtue's Last Reward. No, wait, that's the one I liked. Uh, Zero Time Shola. Dilemma. Um, it's okay. You don't have to beat around the bush. I thought long and hard about how to feel about my sister. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't sad, but I can't be down forever. about mommy I'm sure you know already but she's at the detention center still enjoy it but yeah I had its issues and I was fed up with it by the end I've gone to see her every day with Genny but we can't really talk much she's always crying yeah but her lawyer said that due to the circumstances her sentence might not be too long the person that Amame killed was trying to brainwash all of mankind some people even think she's a hero oh Komeji I think about it a lot. Six years ago, my dad took Jin's body from the amusement park. If only I had noticed back then. How would you have known? Maybe none of this would have happened. Have you heard of the multiverse theory? And I wish it focused more on the murder mystery and not the cult apocalypse thing. Yep. There are multiple universes. So that means there's a universe. My feelings on the game were like, like I'm loving ours. it to, uh, to, well, well I'm fed up with history. this too. Oh, I watched all the proper timeline stuff. This is pretty cool. Yeah, That's the I idea. just. If that were true. <sighs> Maybe dad is out there somewhere, in another universe. Yeah, that's what I think. Andy's Kumeji lives on happily somewhere. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, Nirvana X. Oh, the number code? I know how to solve it. First, change the letters to numbers. A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, and so on. Using that cipher. From there, solve it the same way as the BATS 490 code. Zigzag from the top left and go from top to bottom. Oh, it's the same as before. Host and rain gig. Hora ints undig. 
The puzzle of the pieces of paper in the balloons was solved in a similar manner. Three, five, six, seven, seven, eight, one, three, nine, seven, one, four, five. Sometimes I keep forgetting there's a murder mystery. Hmm. Imagine if you read all this on stream like a different Ace Attorney. I would have. What does that mean? The numbers start with 35 and 139, right? Which means they're probably coordinates in Tokyo. So in other words, north 35.6778, east 139.7145. That's the answer. Those coordinates point to... The stadium. So the Nirvana X code is... On February 15th, 12 o'clock. Come to the stadium. That was the message. Yep, that's right. That whole video just for those two- that's so dumb. Boss. Have you heard from the boss? No, I haven't. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to continue to live my life with Big Sis. February 15th, come to the stadium. It's the Super Bowl. <laughs> I'm going to work hard to become a robot developer, and I'll continue to support her until the day someone else who can comes along. I'm rooting for you. Good luck. I'm gonna zip through their dialogue as fast as I can. Jelly's a pro ZD fan. I am. Again, yeah, show it so it's under the mask! Genny, you opened back up, huh? Yeah, I can't let this affect me forever. Uh, have you heard from Boss? Oh, uh, she had a message for you. Horizontal is darkness multiplied by light. I don't understand it, but that's what she told me to tell you. Horizontal is darkness multiplied by light, huh? Oh, Mame. Genny, you knew that Mame killed Uru, didn't you? Are you going to arrest me? For cooperating with a murderer? I can't. It's not a crime just to know. Unless you actively try to protect them. In the end, I couldn't protect her. It's frustrating feeling so powerless. I know not everyone will want to hear this, but I don't even think Amame should have been arrested. Her actions were totally justifiable. Her father was killed in such a brutal way. Not to mention Terror was planning a genocide. Speaking of, go 49ers, screw the Cowboys. <laughs> What's Darkness. wrong with killing a person like King that? King of I can't believe she's being punished for it. How did you end up at the stadium? After you took Amame, Shoma and I stayed with Ryuki at the house. The bomb squad came and started to inspect the thermite bomb. And that's when we got a call. Ryuki was told that the Nirvana initiative was going to take place at the stadium. From there, he must have made a plan. In order to prevent the spread of TC Purge, we needed to burn it. Ricky deserved better in this game, yeah. So, we grabbed the thermite bomb, punched our way through the bomb squad, and headed to the stadium. I will continue to wait for Amame, until the day she sits in that seat and smiles at me. She would be sad if she came back and the place was all run down. So I'm going to work hard to keep this place running. Look at that Date. face! <laughs> Date. Date. Date! Meow. Oh my gosh, I need to screenshot this. Meow, meow. I've a permission to shoot. Granted. Oh, this is so cute! About Yuki. Please, don't talk about him. Please. Have you contracted TC Purge? If that were the case, I wouldn't be here, Meow. You know the Nirvana trial code? Everyone who solved it is being quarantined right now. A vaccine has been developed. Deli, I'm angry at this game. Ten seconds later. Ah! Solved the problem. That is with her. It's so cute. Any damaged neurons in the brain should be repairable with nanomachines. However, such a treatment is not simple or easy. If the rocket had launched, 
the country's health infrastructure would have collapsed and caused complete chaos. Anyway, it's one big happy ending. Yeah. <laughs> it's me. Hmm? What is it? Oh, nothing. Hitomi is Iris' mother as well as Mizuki's elementary school teacher, and Date is Mizuki's adoptive father. Hitomi and Date are hitting on each other right now in front of Mizuki. How to describe what she's going through? Disgusting? Unbearable? Nothing she could do, I guess. Iris, have you heard from Boss? Oh, um, yeah. Vertical is male multiplied by female. I don't know what that means, but that's what she said. Vertical is male multiplied by female? Oh, oh yeah, this is... Awkward. Sounds meow and right erotic. Is that the only what thing the you heck? think about? Why is he here? Well, Date's been like this all week. I see. As you end up at the stadium. I was eating at Matsushita Diner. Out of nowhere, Ota rushed in and said, We're going to save humanity! And well, I thought that sounded kind of fun. Fun. I'm glad these conversations are short. I think we're interrupting something here. Also, Iris, why the heck are you sitting with your mom and Dutta You're doing not that? You're anything. You weird. Yeah. Oh. Uh, let's go, BB. Yeah, good idea. You're not interrupting anything. Uh huh. Sure. Oh, probably gonna see. Yep. Leon and Kizun. Oh, Mizuki. Quartz. How are you? Can you not call me that? Ah, oh, come on. You used to like that name. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Uh, about going to Horadori Institute on February 12th, six years ago. Huh? Why do you ask? I'm just curious. Late that night, I went to the basement of Horadori Institute with quartz. But there was nothing there. It was just an empty space. The slicer was hidden under the floor, and there was no door going to Uru's room. There might have been a way in, but we didn't have time to look. Yeah. Right after we got down there, we heard footsteps. We ran out of Horadori Institute after getting up the stairs. What was Bibi's job? I only stole from people who made dirty money, or else quartz wouldn't approve. And Quartz would donate her share to orphanages all over the country. So you were like bandits of justice. How amazing! That might be overstating it. How did you end up at the state? Ah, uh, that. I contacted Leon. I thought he could help. And Kizuno was listening in on the conversation. So... Yes. I asked if there was any way I could help. We will put an end to Terra's plan. I could not simply stay put there. Considering the circumstances, it makes sense that Leon wouldn't decline, thwarting Terror's plan. I am sure he wanted Kizuna present to witness his heroism. I started to think of a plan. I wanted to take Kizzy there, but she had to be safe, no matter what. And that's when I remembered the armored vehicle. I knew it was at the Kumakuras, so I called Moma and asked if I could borrow it. Moma said, Sounds, Sounds like, like fun. fun. How about I tag, I tag along? along? And as for who's driving, I know a guy. That explains Ota. I see. Have you heard from Boss? Yes, I did hear something. She wanted me to tell you. Light is 25.5. Mother flippin', do I have to remember all this? Hmm. I'm not writing anything down. Shoot, I have to talk about everything with them. Gatling gun! Oh, what I was shooting at the stadium? It was loaded with rubber bullets. I could never intentionally kill someone. You're so nice, Gizzy. <laughs> Running away together. We canceled. Why? My father... Accepted our relationship. Seriously? You know how the press began to report on our deeds at the stadium? We agreed to some interviews. And that's where we just came out and said it. Gizzy and I are together. And so... My father can no longer deny our relationship. The two of them were partially responsible for saving humanity. There's no way he could force them to break up now. I'm happy for you. Congrats, you two. Yeah, thanks to you both. I am very grateful.
Well, we need to get going now. See you later. Goodbye, little big sis and big big sis. You're gonna stick with that, huh? <laughs> Funny. Oh, why do I have to talk to Ulta? You were like barely in here. I finally have an Oracalcum trident. Thanks for your business. Oh, right. You own this place. Thanks, chump. <sighs> Don't you do like a friend discount? <laughs> nope. That's not fair, Mizuki. I always give you free food at the Matsushita Diner, don't I? Yeah, free pickles. Cheapskate. Hey, hey, Kagami. Wow, you've surprised me. Mizuki, what are you doing here? I own the place. Really? What are you doing here? Well, uh, um, I wanted to investigate the day-to-day -day lives of young women. As an inspector? I need to know what's in. It's an important part of being an inspector. Best man. <laughs> I feel like I said this before. Oh, Ask his name. I don't have to say it. His name is Sutsukumushi. No! Name. Hey, stop it. It's rude to ask Wait, I got a trophy? Encantado de conocer. Me llamo Kagami. Me gustan las tetas grandes. Tetas? That was name already. I don't need to ask again. That was name already. Don't need to ask. Name was stolen by a wicked rich. I'll ask him again. His name was. I recall it was six letters. It began with Ka. Six letters. Ka. I know. Your name is. Akashi. Kanaiza! That's enough. Have mercy. Inspector. What's up? Have you heard from Boss? Yeah. She gave me a message for you. Female is 6.607. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean, but there it is. What could that mean? Mame. This might make you kind of angry, but I think Mame is a hero. Think about it. His name is Mike Raj. <laughs> Uru, the culprit of the HB case, brutally killed three people. Not to mention he tried to brainwash all of mankind, and Mame punished that evildoer. I can't condemn her for that. What is it, Mizuki? Well, I don't mean to defend what Uru did, but he was held captive underground since the age of six. They took half the really? from him forcibly. <laughs> when you take that into account, perhaps Chikara was the worst person. Here's the way I see it. Evil is created from a greater evil. It is our mission to destroy the root of all evil. Doesn't look like our mission's gonna end anytime soon. Armor vehicle. It's a long story, so I'll cut right to it. Most tavern, most speaking. So there we were. The five of us in the truck heading to the stadium. Ota, Iris, Kizzy, Moma, and Leon, right? And we saw those three being held up by the riot police. Or, I guess, those four. Ryuki, Geni, Shoma, and Roboji. They said they were headed to the stadium, too. So we let them hop in the back. Then we drove right through the barricade and saved the day. For now. We got the info, so let's go somewhere else. Yeah, good idea. Bye. <laughs> Whoa! Receptionist! It's you guys. What's up with your voice? It's a vochlojo. Vochocho? It stands for voice changing lock choker. I borrowed it from Mama <laughs> six years ago, but I don't use it anymore, so I returned it. Awful honorable of you. Never thought I'd get it back. What are you doing here? I was checking some job hunting websites and I saw this place. So now I work here Fridays. Oh, don't worry. I'm still working at Lemniscade, but they won't make me full time ever. Isn't that right, Miss President? Oh, sorry. I don't handle the personnel stuff. I've heard of girls wearing chokers, but this is next level. <laughs> All water in the pond. Pull out. 
Damn it, it's brave. No! 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 <sighs> what weather do you like? Windy. That's crazy. Cool. What are you waiting for? Yeah, that boss lady sent word. She told me you two'd be coming. She said to tell you this. Darkness is 5.479. I have no idea what it means. Why do you have to vote Chocho on? Eh, no reason. Just fucking around with it. Darkness. <laughs> I prefer warm and sunny beach weather. I like, uh... Mama, I love you. Marry me. My favorite weather is when, like, it's almost ready to rain and, like, you feel a warm wind around you. That's my favorite. Gag. Jinpei, get your knife ready. You're cutting off your finger. N no. Now that ring. What? Why would I do that? Overcast? Yeah, overcast, but, like, me. also, like, pretty windy. So that you know, like, a storm is coming. That's my favorite. Leave me alone. I like my clothes. <laughs> what is this? That made me cry. Beautiful sisterly love. Hey, you guys are all right. Take that ball the dragon is holding. It's solid gold. Uh, I can't take that. Don't worry about it. Quartz made me a hell of a lot of cash back in the day. Stop calling me that. Hey, Mizuki, did you just take the ball? I don't know what That's you're what she talking said. about. So, Ritsu, it's time for the puff puff. The VAs must have had so much fun with this, for real. Roger that. The usual. It's just probably the receptionist. Her name is Ritsuko. Cool. Please, no. All right, Nomad. Can you close your eyes for me? <laughs> Got it. Like this? Now, hold still. Okay. Ritsu, come on. Hiya! <laughs> no, Mom. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do this. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh feeling. gosh. The voice is the only thing salvaging this from being the most perverted thing I have ever seen. No, I think the voice makes it worse. Let's go, BB. Please, let's. Wow. Wow. So soft. I like Ritsuko. <laughs> she is great. You remember this from the first game, right? Oh yeah, she did have to puff puff in the first game. Oh yeah, we never did find out who Freya was. So you two are sisters, huh? It makes sense and all, but boy, is it ever surprising. Have you heard from Boss? Boss as in your boss? I don't know. I haven't heard anything. Boss left us a present somewhere, but we don't know where it is. She said something about asking our friends. I see. Then why don't I ask the mighty Milky Balls? Yeah, good idea. Okay then, Milky White Orbs of Power. Who among Boss their isn't so friends and acquaintances... <laughs> isn't he master? ...has the biggest you-know-what. That is... Lin, of course. Who cares? That's what I thought! Hmm? <laughs> put that aside for now. Can we put it aside forever? Okay. Time to get serious now. Oh, balls. The great and powerful. Please find something for me. Where is the present that boss has hidden? Go to Nyes. The hidden secret can be found there. So, how about it? 
Go to Knives. The secret is there? That has nothing to do with Boss's task. I am sure Mama is only stringing together random thoughts. But... The information? You solved the case already, but you're still hungry for more, hmm? Well, I do have some very valuable information. Six years ago, on February 15th, Uru contacted So Sejima, the former politician. Why do you suppose he did that? Because So was his father, an illegitimate love child. She took the baby to Iowan and committed suicide. Oh. Well, it's just a rumor. There's no proof. So, how many people's dads Explain are you gonna be? Lot, wouldn't it? I'm guessing Uru wanted to meet him. The man who threw him and his mother away like garbage. It's garbage. That was where his tragedy began, after all. If So hadn't neglected them, Uru never would have been given up for adoption. Where's So now? I don't know. He's not at his manor. He disappeared about two weeks ago. Maybe he fled the country. Fled the country? Why? He's a cunning old man. I'm sure he sensed something coming. He must have thought the authorities would eventually connect him to terror. So, he decided to leave before it was too late. What a rude guy, for real. Mama, we're gonna get going. Already? I wanted to talk more about Leon's you-know-what. We'll save that for some other time. Oh, sure thing. Come back again whenever. I'll be waiting. I don't- I don't want to drink. Iowan. You're not my friend. Why do I have to talk to you? Mr. Chieda. Nice to see you. Oh, Mizuki Kuranushi. Please, don't call me that. I'm supposed to be called Big Sis. It would be a little strange to call you that. Do you remember me too? Of course I do. You were only three when the Okiura family took you in. I never thought that girl was really you. Both of you have grown so much. You two used to cry and cry. <laughs> now you're both police officers. I'm proud that you've grown up to be such good people. Uh, so the person who leaked the story of Horidori Institute was... Yes, that was me. I didn't have proof, but I suspected that they were doing morally questionable research there, and that you two were subject to it. I wasn't ignoring the signs. I only noticed it a few years after you two came here. They acted on it right away, and went straight to the police. They told me they couldn't do anything without proof, so I leaked the information to the press, which led to the Institute being closed. I did it for the two of you. But didn't you help it reopen? I'm having trouble following your logic. Yes, that. I spoke to your cohort, Ryuki, about this. Human experimentation is intolerable. But the other research being done at Horidori Institute was extremely valuable and had a bright future. There were many hardworking people there that had nothing to do with what was happening behind the scenes. And at that point, the two of you were no longer affiliated. research Uh, have you heard from a boss? Uh... 
Oh, nice. Almost done. Did the game go silent or is it just me going dub? I think it went silent for me too. Oh no, did it go silent? Why? No. Can you guys hear me? Oh, the game did go. Whoa. Whoa. Oh no, what happened? No! Why did the game audio stop? What the heck? Yeah, it's this video cat. Guys, I can't. I can't just stop this. Oh. Speakers, mic ox, uh, video capture device. Why aren't you working? No. Monitor and out. Uh. Man. Okay. Well, I guess. In the recording, it's hopefully still going. No, if you guys can't hear it in stream, you can't hear- Mother flippin', do I have to- Okay, here's what I'll do. I'll end the stream, and I'll come back, and I'll see if it works. Because I don't want to read all of this. I'll be right back. <laughs> 